is Ralph, you f Messenger of God. God. Howdy folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. <laughs> I'm really excited about tonight, because we're starting one of my favorite franchises, Friday the 13th. Mmm. Great. What do you know about Friday the 13th? Is this one with the guy with the fingers? No. Um, or the guy with the face that he, he wore somebody else's face as his face? No. That's, I think that's Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw. This is the guy with oh. the hockey mask. It's oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Friday the 13th. The iconic hockey mask. Like Casey Jones style okay, hockey yeah, mask, right? Yeah. But scary. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I think Casey Jones wears the hockey mask because of... To emulate that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Kind of. Also, he's, he's also a hockey into, player. He's also into sports, but... Yeah. The idea was he was kind of... Modern. He was also a hockey player. Yeah. Oh. I is, don't know anything else about it then. I don't know anything else about it. I no. don't even know what the plots are about. I mean, except for this one it's guy. It's a slasher in film. It's one of the forebears of the slasher genre of horror. Halloween was a two years before this in 78, and then 1980, Friday the 13th came out and kind of kicked off the whole 80s horror spree of slasher films. And uh, what I love about Friday the 13th is when it's ever Friday the 13th, you can find these movies on TV, just marathons of them, and just watch Friday the 13th movies over and over again. Right? We don't have TV. Back in the day... Right? On TNT, TBS, back when there was Saturday night scary movies on TNT. If it was Friday the 13th, you were watching Friday the 13th. Right? Okay. So, I'm ready to jump into it. Are you? Yeah, let's do it, I guess. I All mean, right. I don't have an option, so I guess we're doing it. We're jumping right in. Right. But first, you're going to like, comment, and subscribe, because I'm doing this for you. Otherwise, I would not be watching this Ever. <laughs> do it. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos as well as full length commentaries and more. Check it out, the link's down below. Let's watch Friday the 13th. Camp Crystal Lake, 1958. <laughs> that noise that is like the icon it's iconic from this movie yep oh okay you've probably heard it it's yeah in comedy made and stuff fun of people are trying to be scary yeah. right? yeah i doubt that's what camp counselors are doing after the kids go to sleep <laughs> in the 50s even in the 50s they were probably doing more than this Ah, uh, this is more like it, yeah. Does Marianne kiss as good as I do? How would I? Oh, you. No, she's better. <laughs> Looks like our fence outside must have been popular in the 50s. <laughs> Is he making that noise, or is it just like part of the score? That's the score, yeah. We weren't doing anything, we were just messing up. <laughs> like that. We weren't doing anything as he's buckling his belt right now. <laughs> we weren't doing anything. Friday, June 13th, the present. The present would be the 80s? 1980. 1980. Is this one with Jamie Lee Curtis? No, that's Halloween. No. That far, huh? Okie dokie. See you later. Ugh. Where's she walking from? <laughs> like a bus station, or she has been hitching? <laughs> No sweat, Trudy. Okay, kid, let's move it. This is like 20, 22 years-ish. Mm -hmm. 58 to 80, yeah, yeah, 22 years. You're going 
Good to camp blood, ain't you? God damn it, Ralph. Get out of here. Go on, get. Leave people alone. You'll never come back again. Oh, shut up, Ralph. <laughs> That's promising. <laughs> it's got a death curse. God damn it, Ralph. He's a real prophet of doom, ain't he? <laughs> Come on, climb up, miss. <laughs> Let me help you up there. <laughs> I love an old man. <laughs> <laughs> don't you just love an old man? I just don't give a <laughs> Okay, Let me grab your ass. It'll be fine. Alright, so 22 years later, if the killer was maybe a kid at the camp. The killer would be like 30 some. 35 maybe. You must have brought $25,000. And for what? Ask anybody. You can't get your house painted for $25,000 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's not that expensive. Dumb kid. At least I'm not afraid of ghosts. It's probably not the ghost you gotta be afraid of. The demons. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Seriously, where did she come from, though? I don't think it matters. Matters to me. I like to know these things. Hey, uh, Kevin Bacon? Uh, Kevin Bacon's in this! I like Kevin Bacon. It looks natural. <laughs> Instead of just going like this. <laughs> Whatever. Do I really look like that? You did last night. Ooh. Okay, so did she just walk right by the murderer guy? What's it, Jason? Is that his name, Jason? You neglected to mention that downtown they call this place Camp Blood. Should bring back jorts. Did they ever leave? Not for real, man. <laughs> Ta-da! Jesus. Are you crazy? Hi. I'm going to Camp Crystal Lake. Do we never see the guy's face? Guess I always wanted to work with children. I hate when people call them kids. Sounds like little goats. Oops. That was a pretty cool visual for the yeah. 80s, right? Like, oof. Tom Savini. Ooh, he's got like a class ring on. Uh, come on. <laughs> just his junk waiting right there for him. <laughs> Not just any junk. Kevin Bacon's junk. That's belly flop. <laughs> Here. You're he's at the dock. Here. He's a foot from the dock. You can mouth mouth. Yeah. He's just trying to get a chick to make out with him. Oh, God. Ooh, snakes are gross. What do I do? <laughs> I can't get it till it comes out. Well, call him. 
How do you call a snake? I'll flush it out! <laughs> Can't look very, very stable on that. <laughs> Jesus, Ralph, you f messenger of God. God. You're doomed if you stay here. He rode a long way on his bicycle. <laughs> Don't you love that macho talk? Emergency generator. Yeah. She's annoying. Oh, here it goes. What an antique. What is not that? loud at all. Huh? Huh? <laughs> this guy's jealous. Uh oh. Can I help you? Hello? Come on, come on. Ooh, wind's come up. Shifted a good 180 degrees. But Nettie's gonna do whatever Nettie wants to do, you know? It's gonna storm. <laughs> I've been afraid of storms ever since I was a little kid. No. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I've had this dream about five or six times where I'm in a thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. The rain turns to blood. And blood washes away in little rivers. It's just a dream. It's a really f***ing creepy dream, though. What happened to Ned? I like a blood-soaked bed. Where's Ned? Great. It's gonna start raining blood on her through the mattress, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. Alice draws first blood. It's a terrible way to talk about my feet. We should play strip monopoly sometime. Takes way too long. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He was under them the whole time. <laughs> didn't think to put pants on before running outside in the middle of the rain. Where's the scream? Oh, she's in the bathroom. So. Oh. Great. I don't think camp's gonna be happening this year. <laughs> think like she's going number one or number two? Number one. <laughs> to the outhouse by Willie Macon. Jack? Jess? No. Use the rainwater, it'll be fine. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Oh 
bad. Don't close your eyes. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> that was a lot less terrifying than I thought it was going to be. Cause, since I didn't show it happening, right? 80s horror is way more my speed. It's more like anticipations. Yeah, the suspense of it. Yes, than less the, the, the jump. Yeah, it, the right? jumps, the jump scare and gore of it. Again, we're not putting clothes back on. We're just putting a rain jacket on top. Whatever happened to the buddy system? I feel like they could be using the buddy system in this sort of scenario. I've got six new counselors up at camp. They are babes in the woods in every sense of the word. Not anymore. Did you lock the back door? Did you lock the back door? Yeah. Oh, he's out there. He's fine. Ugh. Why'd she bring in her whole towel? She was just going to brush her teeth. <laughs> Changed her mind. Relax my brow here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I just feel like I've been making this face the whole time. I'm like, oh god. Why'd she go to the bathrooms if she has a sink in her cabin? Is a man making that little girl voice? Hello. Hello. Where is this little kid coming from? What did like the axe to the head not kill her or something? Because she looks pretty dead. It's going to take a little archery practice on her. Bill? Can I come? Come on in. Buddy system. Might want to take it with you. Oh, it's shooting. All right. No, I'm like all tensed up. I don't know. Come on. So he's taking the bodies and doing what with them? Hanging them upside down in trees. <laughs> like the predator. Dead. Try the Do you have a gun on for it? Cut the line. Why don't we just hike out of here? Just get out! Right now! How would that be better? Worry. Probably some stupid explanation for all this. Like what? Like they're dead, probably. <laughs> Good luck. And they're sitting ducks out there on Lake Crystal, whatever it is. Crystal Lake? That's right. Hello? Who's that? Great! There he is! Here we go! What are you doing on this mess? Was it Ralph? <laughs> nope. Nope. Wasn't Ralph. <laughs> but it wasn't Ralph. <sighs> the scariest part should be when she sees what's happened to them and is terrified, right? And then we fear we feel her terror, but 
Is he just going to kill all of them before they get to that point? Because I think that, for me, is the scariest part, seeing somebody else's fear, right? Jesus. Bill? She ain't planning on sleeping. Have you ever had instant coffee? Mm -hmm. Bill. Bill. This feels like the longest night ever. <laughs> Oh, God. What if he's already in there with you? I don't know if I can hold anything. <laughs> The door pulls out. <laughs> <laughs> She's terrified. It's fine. <laughs> She's terrified. Just not thinking logically here. <laughs> yeah, he's probably in the pantry now. Less worried about the dead body in front of you and more worried about who threw the body through the window. Oh no, the killer has the same car as him. Well, I, I'm Mrs. Voorhees, an old friend of the Christie's. She's not afraid. She's not afraid. She's just creepy. Oh, God, this place. Steve should never have opened this place again. There's been too much trouble here. Voorhees, right? Voorhees. That's Jason's last name. Did you know that a young boy drowned the year before those two others were killed? His name was Jason. I was working the day that it happened, preparing meals. Jason should have been watched every minute. He was, he wasn't a very good swimmer. I am Jason. I am. Jason was my son. And today is his birthday. Oh, I couldn't let them open this place again. Could I? After what happened, you let him drown. You never paid any attention. Look what you did to him. Look what you did to him. Is she Jason Voorhees? Is she? No, that, what? So he didn't die then when he drowned? Kill her, mommy. Kill her. Don't let her live. I won't, Jason. I won't. What the f is happening so that little lady has been butchering all these people the the help me scream makes sense now mm. 
I mean, hit it a little harder. Kill her, mommy. Kill her. Ooh. <laughs> it hurts for girls too. It hurts for girls too. <laughs> it's all bone. It hurts real bad. It can't be just this lady. Like it that cannot be. Where's the friggin' hockey mask? Jar of mayonnaise. Use the jar of mayonnaise. Ah! Not so uh, great when she doesn't have the art of surprise on her side, right? Boy, Jason's gonna be pissed when he realizes mom is dead. Is there a Jason? I mean, this, this whole franchise is built off of Jason Voorhees, right? Like... Yeah, this isn't over. Are those the toothpicks holding the head up on? <laughs> that what those things are. Oh, that was a sharp knife. Decapit a Just decapitated a woman. She got a nice swing. Yeah. Perfect form. They're gonna think she killed all those people. <laughs> it's also probably gonna pee her pants when she wakes up. Hands in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a weird musical choice for the for this moment. It's 80s. find any boy. Then he's still there. That scared the piss out of me. <laughs> like, maybe on par with the descent reaction, <laughs> I think. <laughs> he's just like a water person? Like, what the hell? So what do you think? So he and his mom were in cahoots to kill all these people? Then why was she like talking to him like he didn't he would like he was a figment of her imagination? Hmm, I'm I'm trying to figure out how much to tell you before because we, we're gonna watch part two next, right? But now mommy's dead. Yes, Mrs. Voorhees was the murderer in this. Boy. Oh, she killed all of them? Mm-hmm. But she, and so she really thinks that her son is dead? Mm hmm So she's the one that killed all of the other but Jason's not dead. Yeah. He's just been living in the water this whole time, or he drowned. How do you... Those are questions that will be answered as we go through the franchise. Like, like, that's like, that's what makes watching Friday the Thirteenth the first one now. That the you know there's all these movies in it. Yeah. There's a twist for new people 
who have seen Jason in pop culture thinking that, where's Jason at? Yeah. When it's actually his mother in the first one. Yeah, that's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Mm-hmm. I just, I was just like, wait, where is he, though? <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you think? Um, gosh. Well, that jump scare at the end was mm-hmm. horrible. That's the only jump scare, really. Yeah, really. The and rest of the time, it's more, it's just suspense. Yeah. Suspense scares. It's suspense, and then there's maybe a couple little startles, but that was calm yeah. and then a storm immediately, right? Yeah. What makes uh, this film great, and it's also different than all the other ones we're going to watch, is the suspenseful feel of it. Yeah. And the fact that you don't see You never see the, the killer. killer mm-hmm. Right? A lot of the, the fear that it builds is it establishes the first person's perspective of the killer yeah. from the first scene, right? Yep. And then... Throughout the film, almost every camera angle is eye level, and you don't know if it's the eye of the killer or if it's just... If it's just the camera. Yeah, Yeah. the camera view, right? And there's a lot of those creeping up behind somebody, but Mm -hmm. then it just turns out to be a fake out, right? Right, like as she was walking Mm -hmm. at the... Yeah, that one of those opening scenes as she's walking through the middle Mm -hmm. of the forest. I'm like, the the killer's standing right there? She doesn't notice? Mm -hmm. That's what makes this out of unique and the start of the franchise in its own sense and... What makes it one of the greatest horror films of all time is mm. even before Jason, this was one of the great scary movies. Just the way it's filmed and the suspense, and you never suspect the little old lady at the end, right? No, right. nope, that was not expected. <laughs> what was the scariest moment, other than the Jason that jump was scare the out of the lake? Moment. What was. Well, oh, the other one was coming up through the the bed. Kevin Bacon's yeah, death. Kevin Bacon's yeah. death through the throat. Yeah. It was cool, but it was the scariest yeah. other moment. Um, the deaths. What makes this also another great horror film is the unique ways everybody dies. Mm-hmm. Everybody's killed a different way. Yep. And the special effects to do that was ahead of its its groundbreaking. Yeah, at this point. It's pretty impressive. Like I said, Tom Savini, who's done, he did his own Not a Living Dead remake in the '90s, and he's just been he's he's one of the icons of horror since this film. So I can see why. Yeah. And he, I think he works on a number of the film's special effects throughout the, the franchise. Oh, so. okay. All right. Well, what should people comment about? What was your favorite kill Yeah, in Friday the 13th? The favorite right? kill. I think Kevin Bacon was mine, too. Like I, just because it's Kevin Bacon, and it was yeah. just a cool way. cool. Arrow from under the bed, right? Mm-hmm. So let us know your favorite kill in Friday the 13th. And uh, now, if, you've seen the, if you saw this in theaters, there's no surprise for you, right? Other than, I mean, there is the surprise that it is Mrs. Voorhees, but knowing... Well, yeah. I don't even know that it would be a surprise for it to be Mrs. Voorhees because yeah. you would have had no prior knowledge of Jason Voorhees. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's just some lady. Mm-hmm. Great. Oh, the lady kills people. Okay. She's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Right? Um, I think it it's more surprising knowing about Jason. the character yeah. that is Jason Voorhees, mm-hmm. right? Them. If you saw this in the theater, let us know what you thought of the reveal of Mrs. Voorhees. And for those who've watched it for the first time after the fact of Jason being a pop culture icon, let us know what you thought of Mrs. Voorhees being the killer revealed in Friday the 13th Part 1, right? Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you think, right? Also, comment or like... Uh... <laughs> also, <laughs> just go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already done that. Yeah. We're going to be watching a million and a half of these, so... It's going to be fun. Great. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all our videos a week before they hit YouTube, as well as full-length commentaries and more. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Crazy Ralph. What's he gonna tell her? Well, why do you deserve that? Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to You, Me, and the Movies. And we got another fun one tonight. It's Friday all over again. Friday the 13th, Part 2. Great. Do you remember what happened last time we watched Friday the 13th last week? Oh, boy, do I. It's a camp movie. Yeah. Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a murderer. 
uh, at Crystal Lake trying to keep people from camping there. Mm -hmm. So they kill all the counselors before camp starts. But what happened last week? You were expecting something. Oh, yeah. I was expecting to see Jason. Shocker. He's not the murderer in the first movie. <laughs> I'm expecting him to be the murderer in the second movie because right. his mom's dead now. Mm -hmm. So, oh, spoilers for anyone that hasn't seen the first one. Well, if you're watching part two, you probably should have seen part one by now, Let's right? hope. Any guesses on how people will die in this one? Well, I hope in a, a myriad of ways. Oh, really? <laughs> well, yeah, got to keep it interesting. Oh, okay. I assume he it holds an axe in this cover, so yeah. probably an axe... Probably a knife, yeah. some sort of sharp blade. Yeah. But I was pretty impressed with his mom's... Her variety? Yeah, she yeah. used a huge variety, mm -hmm. including the arrow through the bed into the throat. To kill Kevin Bacon. Which was definitely my favorite kill of the first movie. Yeah. Well, we'll see which one's your favorite in this one. Everybody's got a favorite kill in every Friday the 13th movie, so you gotta Probably. pick yours. We'll pick it at the end, so... Should we jump right in? Yeah, why not? Let's jump in the lake. Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Come hang out. We're going to be watching all of these stinking Friday the 13th movies. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't want to. So She's got to. Great. Yep. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to all our videos a week before they hit YouTube, as well as full-length commentaries and more. The link's down below. Check it out. Let's watch Friday the 13th Part 2. Here we go. Strider, called up the strider Jesse, again. You get in this house right now. His feet are gonna be soaking wet. I thought this was supposed to take place in Camp Crystal Lake again. Just a guy going for a walk. What are you talking about? Who did they get to make the noises? No. She the counselor that life lived. Mm -hmm. It's Alice. Still having nightmares, huh? Makes sense. She went through a pretty big trauma. My sweet, innocent Jason. I don't like this part. <laughs> They're giving a very good recap of the first movie. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. This was the worst part. <laughs> if you don't recall, this is where I made that really weird noise at the very end. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Keep my eyes open for this uh, one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. I do wonder, is he like the swamp thing where he just lives in that pond? Or like where has he been hiding all of these years? And why did his mom think he was dead if, if he was alive? Unless he was trying to stay away from his mom because his mom was a psycho. No. I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. It really does use just like the weirdest camera angles, right? Very close. Oh, gosh. David Bowie? <laughs> Hi. Why wouldn't her doors have already been locked? <laughs> Why does she have an ice pick in her kitchen? 
to pick eyes. Is that a commonly used utensil, though? <laughs> Jesus. That escalated quickly. <laughs> Is this one gonna, like, scare the crap out of me? Maybe. Did the first one? No. I mean, it was scary, but it wasn't, like, conjuring scary. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna tow him away. And then uh, over. I up. told the others, they didn't believe me. You're all doomed. You're all doomed. Crazy Ralph knows his. <laughs> Trust that guy. So, all right, covered bridge. Okay. So why are they towing his truck away? They parked illegally. This is my truck. Max loves the gas station. He's crazy, too. I should have known. <laughs> really? It's just playing a little prank, huh? <laughs> this place is spooky. So she goes wandering off into the woods? <laughs> Camp Blood. This place is on the same lake as we're going to be. Camp Blood? Hey, isn't that Let's the Let's get out of here. We're going to be late. Can't we take a look? No way. You... He's just a tree man. He just hides in the trees, huh? So it's not Camp Crystal Lake that they're at this time. We're on the same lake, but not the same camp. Why the hell am I a Camp Crystal Lake counselor? There's plenty of camps. Wish she wore a shirt like that, though. I don't have the abs to pull it off anymore. Once upon a time. Or that ass, oh my gosh. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> but my car's sick. Well, you could have called. Paul, I tried, but your phones aren't even working yet. My car's sick. Yeah, it's got a fever. It's <laughs> an interesting way to put it. Try it. Nailed it. But I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. His body was never recovered from the lake after he drowned. The girl who survived that night at Camp Blood, that... Friday the 13th, she claimed she saw. She disappeared two months later. Blood was everywhere. No one knows what happened to her. She's probably in that lake somewhere. A revenge that he'll continue to seek if anyone ever enters his wilderness again. Lucky for you, you're sitting in his wilderness. <laughs> and by now, I guess you all know, we're the first to return here. Ballsy. I hate to kill. I hate to devour. Thirsty for young blood. Now that we got that out of our system, okay? I don't want to hear any more about it. Jason drowned, Mrs. Voorhees was killed, and Camp Crystal Lake is off limits. You got it? Yeah. Great. Poor bed. Night, Paul. See you in the morning. That's how he dances. Dance better than that. 
It's only how I dance with you because you can't dance that well. It's true. I can't. <laughs> Still not using the buddy system? Like, hey. That's crazy, Ralph. He's wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> You're all doomed. Crazy Ralph. What's he gonna tell her? Well, why do you deserve that? It's in his territory. Bummer. It's tired of him warning all the kids. They weren't listening to him anyways. It worked for five years. Dog's instincts weren't very good. <laughs> Muffin? Jerry, lunch. Okay, I'm coming. Who brings a Shih Tzu to the woods, anyways, right? <laughs> this must be it. Yeah. Oh my God. What is it? Looks like a dog. <gasps> What are you kids doing out here? No punishment? What kind of place is this? Ginny? Yes, Paul. No seconds on dessert for Jeff and Sandra tonight. <laughs> Should we tell Terry? You know, about what we saw. No way. As far as I'm concerned, we didn't see a thing. You got old muffins? Oh, yeah. Definitely looked like Shih Tzu. He's gonna kill a cop? I guess he's trying- who's- like... Well, I don't even know why he's chasing him. you find Jason's lair? It's cozy. Yeah. Why would Jason lead him there, though, unless he just wanted to murder him there? So nobody finds him? Hammer time! What did he find? What do you think? Do we ever see Jason's face? Oh, by the way, our wanderers have volunteered to stay behind and watch the camp. Isn't that nice of you? Uh, I think I'll stay too. Muffin may show. Well, how are her boobs even staying in those shirts? Short shirts are like so short. Yolanda, bring back my truck in I'll one bring piece. Bring beer. I'm going for a walk. We'll wait up for you, right? Don't do it. Hey, you could not catch me dead skinny dipping in a lake. Lakes are so gross. Yeah. They have like, So where would you skinny dip? The shower? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, all sorts of weird stuff. Things that swim. Algaes. Woof. I only want your fingers. What? Take your fit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. What do you want to play for? Position. <laughs> what, Jaws? <laughs> Does sound like Jaws. 
Wow, full nudity. Is this the 70s or the 80s? The 80s. Looking for something? <sighs> yeah, I, it wouldn't be my boobs that I was covering, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were practically showing your boobs with your shirt on anyway, so... It's no longer funny, Scott. Ah, ah, help! What can I do? Get me down, that's what! I'm gonna have to get a knife to cut the rope. Can you keep a knife in your dresser? Where is she? Yeah, their lead singer Ralph's dead. <laughs> what if there is a Jason? Oh, bull Jenny. No, what if there is some kind of boy? She's the one that's gonna last at the end, right? She'll survive. Everyone else will die. She'll survive. Well, isn't that what her revenge was all about? Her sense of loss? Her rage at what she thought happened? Psychology majors. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> You know, Paul, I'm really serious about this, though. Jason's a legend, Jimmy. Tug? I'm in training, remember? For what? Arm wrestling championships. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. It's got to go over the top. Yeah. <laughs> Just unplugged the whole time. Yeah, word to the wise, he doesn't care what your underwear looks like. <laughs> right? <laughs> do you care? If they're on the floor, do you really care? gonna impale them together straight through both of them wouldn't you have loved to have been one of the like six riding in the back of that pickup <laughs> She's never going to find him. She wouldn't think to look downstairs. <laughs> Sandra. Oh, boy. Sandra? Sandra. <laughs> So I guess we kind of saw Jason. Every time we see him, he's going to be hooded like that or something. 
Also, how'd they get that camera angle, right? Like, the cameraman must have been holding... So Jason is the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Think something's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I'll check upstairs. Wouldn't there be blood all over the stairs? He just dragged those bodies down. What is this, a joke? They wouldn't do anything like this. Where did he take the bodies? Must, must be the main fuse again. Paul, what's going on here? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing's going on here. Where is everybody? I don't know. Brain's stopping. We'll go look for them. Paul, there's someone in this room. Watch out behind you. Paul, there's someone in this room! Don't just stand there! Help him! Super idea. Yeah, I'm just holding it. This is gonna help. It's gonna help. Jesus. Oh, she has a knife. I thought she grabbed like a ladle. I was like, that is not a good idea. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. It's gonna be like Paul or something. Not Paul. He's in the pantry again. <laughs> Hood's probably deterring his uh, eyesight pretty well. <laughs> Jesus. Finish him off. Yeah, no, for me, I would have, like, kept going with that chainsaw. <laughs> I say that like I know how I would react in this sort of situation. <laughs> Please help me. Oh, great. His house. Super. Oh, there he is. As that is. It's his mom's, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Jason! It's all 
done, Jason. You've done your job well, and Mommy is pleased. Now come to Mommy. Come on. Interesting tactic. You don't want to see his face? No. Jesus. Is it the cop? Okay. It, so if it's Jason, they didn't kill him then. Because there's like 800 more of these. Did you think it was the cop or something? Is yeah, I thought said? maybe it was the cop or something. But I don't know. got away with it. Was it for those darn kids? Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like this is over. I'd get away from the window if I were her. Freaking kidding me? Goddamn dog. It's a distraction. Give me a <gasps> oh, Jesus! And every single one of these movies like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Weren't ready for that one, were you? Every freaking time at the very end? Seriously? I mean, I knew that that wasn't over. I figured he was going to come through the window. Still scared the shit out of me. Yeah. But how did... How did she survive? Who the hell knows? Yeah. Where's Paul? Paul probably went after. Paul probably went after them to like yeah. save her, and then he killed Paul instead and left her for some unknown reason. Yeah. Guess we'll have to watch the next one to find out, huh? Oh, gee, many. <laughs> but you gather yourself for a second here. Another good jump scare there at the end. God, I almost <laughs> peed my pants. <laughs> Not really, but it did scare me. So what'd you think? Very similar to the first one. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. <laughs> it was fine. People it was it fine. I, Your criticism for every movie we watch. <laughs> it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> Compared to the first one, I think the camera work in the first one was better. Yeah. There was a lot more creepy fake outs and then first person view because yeah, obviously the, you kind of knew the, who the, kill, the killer more who he was. Yeah, the first one. one you couldn't. It was the camera angles kept you guessing if yeah if, if you were the, the killer camera, or if it yeah. was just a exactly fake camera. and but, they tried to do that in this one you could tell it just didn't yeah. it wasn't quite as effective because you know who the killer is yeah and you see his feet yeah. <laughs> the whole time yeah they didn't really they did show feet in the first one too though oh yeah I guess they did just but a couple it, times though you couldn't really tell it was her no they were nondescript feet yeah <laughs> this one you could definitely tell it was. Yeah, man's At feet. least men's shoes, right? Mm -hmm. So what was your favorite kill? 
I, I love those bed kills. The, the bed kill. The double. The double impalation. Yeah. In, double impaling. Mm hmm. With right. the spear thing. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It's always the arrowhead, I guess. You like the, the pointy arrow. Guess kills. I do. What about the wheelchair kill? With the... Yeah, I'm impressed that the wheelchair didn't turn, like, fall backwards. Yeah. Like, uh, I wonder how many times they had to shoot that to keep the, it sitting straight. The chair goes straight. down the stairs, <laughs> right? Man. So what do you think of, uh, kind of got to look at Jason's face there. Yeah. At least grown Jason's face. We've seen young Jason's face before this book. Right. Was it as horrifying as you expected? No. No? I mean, yes and no. Like, it was pretty much what I was expecting, but it wasn't that horrifying. No. So he wore a sack over his head in this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not the iconic look from the whole franchise. Oh. Right. I didn't know. I mean, you haven't seen the. No, I've never. Ne- I've never seen I'm trying Jason to, Voorhees before. I've been trying to think about it, and I, I have mental images of Freddy. Yeah. And I have mental images of the Halloween guy. Michael Myers. Yeah. But I have no mental images oh, okay. of well. Freddy of Jason Voorhees. Okay. I don't know that I've even ever yeah seen a picture of. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to. I think I'm just going to keep it. Yeah, yeah be, be wait for the movies to show yeah. me. I like that plan. That's a good plan. Yeah, yeah. not gonna Google it. Why? Why bother? Yeah. I haven't needed to know this far, this long in my life. So, what did you think of her way of tricking Jason into th- hypnotizing him? It makes sense that she that would try would, that. Yeah. Um, obviously, this is a like she mentioned a kid yeah. in an adult's body and has had some traumatic experiences. So. It makes sense that she would try to emulate his mom and try to convince him that... Yeah. I'm still alive. Don't kill me. Yeah. Right. Worked for a minute. Yeah. Almost got him. That psychology major in her. Yep. Hmm. Let's ask the people what their favorite kill was. Yeah, what was your favorite kill in Friday the 13th Part 2? Let us know in the comments below. Your favorite weapon, too, maybe. I mean, if you have a favorite kill, it's probably with the specific weapon, right? Yeah. I was surprised Jason didn't use the chainsaw. I thought, when you see the chainsaw, you're like, oh, Jason's going to kill somebody. But no, Ginny used it, not him. So, yeah. so let us know your favorite kill in the comments. Your favorite weapon. Yeah. And uh, Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done it. Come check, check us out on Patreon. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos as well as full-length commentaries and more. Links down below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. folks welcome on back to you me and the movies and tonight we got a good one i'm ready for it friday the 13th part 3 3d yeah you look like an idiot what 3d are we gonna watch it in 3d i am apparently you're not you don't have your glasses on we don't have a 3d television don't you have to have like special equipment no it's that's why there's the blue and the red we're actually not gonna watch it in 3d though so but uh Do you remember where we were when we left off in part two? What happened? They were back at Crystal Lake. Not Camp Crystal Lake. A different camp on the lake. Yeah. Same lake. Different camp. Mm -hmm. Uh, Everybody died. Except for one person. Just like the last time. Actually, there was a few that were at the bar that never came back. So I don't think they ever died. But we never heard about them again Mm -hmm. either. What, What happened at the very end of the last one? Do you remember? We saw Jason's face. He was wearing a bag for a while. It was also kind of creepy. Yeah. And then we thought he died because he got stabbed pretty good. Yep. But he didn't. Oh, and then he captured this chick in his cabin. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, did he kill her? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. I guess it, that means... He it. jumped through the window at the very end, right? Okay. And grabbed her. That's all we saw. Okay. So we don't know. He probably is, uh, kept her captive in his cabin. Yeah. He's doing all sorts of weird yeah, my made guess. Her, made her some lake stew and stuff like that. A skin suit, something. All right, man. So should we jump into it? Yeah, might as well. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Come hang out.
Yeah, we're check gonna, out our. We're gonna watch all these. Yeah, all of them. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, and more. Links down below. Let's watch Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. Not in three D though. I'm gonna take these off. Perfect. Oh, there she is. Oh, Please help me. Oh, we're reliving. <laughs> Dang. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, they're taking us way back. I get the deja vu. Oh, no! It's in 3D. Oh, that's the 3D part? <laughs> Give me those glasses. Does it make a difference? It's not in 3D mode. That one scared me. Sort of like when you're a kid playing with Word and you find smart art for the first time. You're like, check yeah. out all these things. Word I can art. <laughs> so just so you know, that whole jumping through the window was just a dream. What? Where we're picking up is after he got stabbed and he crawled away. It happens a lot around Crystal Lake. Thank you for explaining that. I would have been like, what the hell the whole time? No oh, shoot. Jesus Christ, Harold. Take what's yours and leave the rest for me to do. Consider it. Why do you around here? That's how it works at our house. Seriously, dude. What the heck? Sorry. Hey, hey, look. I'm eating. Huh? Huh? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they fly eggs. <laughs> oh, jeez, buddy. Gross. You know, I'm trying to help you, but you just keep sneaking food behind my back. What am I going to do with you? She doesn't care that he's eating food that they're going to try to sell later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. So. <clears throat> he didn't flush. Just took a big ol' Hershey squirt dump and did not flush the toilet. I don't think he wiped either. Oh, God. Doesn't he know the rules? If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down, dude. Beg your pardon. I'm not an asshole. I'm an actor. Same thing. Hey, the van's on fire! <laughs> Just token. Would have been there already if some people didn't have to go to the bathroom every five minutes. That's what happens when you're pregnant. Oh no, she's pregnant. It's the cops. Oh my god. What? 
Ditch the weed! No way, man. Let's go, Chuck, come on! Chuck, they're gaining on us. They're gaining on us. Eat it! Sean, the cops are gonna get us! Eat it! Oh, don't eat it. Eat it? Oh, gosh. I can't imagine that would make you feel very good if you ate a bunch of pot. Tell us in the comments. <laughs> Anyone have experience with that? Hey, kiddo. Don't let your imagination run away with you. Too late. Chris, stop the van. What? Stop! What is it? What are you doing? Look upon what his grace has brought unto me. What is that? I found this today. There were other parts of the body. That's an eyeball! Oh, but he said let's go. he wanted me to have this. So he's the new crazy guy? Who, <laughs> what was the other crazy guy's name? It's probably Ralph's eyeball. <laughs> crazy Ralph, that's right. I have warned thee. I It's pretty gross. Is someone here? I do something wrong? You scared the shit out of her. She walked into the cabin. I don't mean to be picky or anything, but uh, where's the bed? It's right here. A hammock. Not so much support there. You might like it. Why not? <laughs> Hard to be on top in a hammock. <laughs> Okay. And now's the time. And now's the place, if you know what I mean. She's gonna be on that. Right? He's an actor. Don't move him. Mm. Dead. Sure. Chris, leave him alone. He doesn't know any better. It was a joke. It's not a funny one. People get murdered <laughs> next to that lake. <laughs> Freaking idiot. I'm going to the store. Can I use your car? Oh, sure. Thanks. Cole. Hey, let me go with you. I gotta get out of here too. Just his way of getting attention. He doesn't know what happened. What happened to her? I don't remember her from a previous movie or anything. Is she from one of the earlier movies? Mm. Excuse me, but I believe that's my wallet. Oh, super. Drive? Uh oh. It was close, it hit her. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. I'm inclined to think it was Jason. Uh oh. Oh, it looks like a motorcycle gang kind of boot.
real badass. Kick that hay down. Not kick that hay. So far, this one's plot is just a little bit <laughs> loosey goosey here. What the hell are you doing? We're about to light it on fire. Get down here. They got forked. <laughs> totally forked. <laughs> so what the hell are you guys doing up there? For fork's sake. Me talking to you. Get down here. Quit forking around up there. Was that his head or his arm? He just cut his arm off? We haven't been in the barn. We haven't been in the barn yet. Let's take a look. Not now. Don't oh. go in the barn. Hey, wait up. It's no fun rolling in the hay by yourself. Yeah, it's just itchy. Chris, why'd you come back here? To prove something to myself. What happened to her? Ugh. <laughs> you give up? You out of your mind? Hmm. Can't you juggle? Yep. Andy, I can think of much better things for you to be doing with your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Andy, want to see me juggle two balls? <laughs> that would have been way better. I like you. I like you a lot. Coming on strong, buddy. You know, we could... I don't think so. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go outside for a few minutes. And then when I get back in, we'll talk. Sure. We'll talk. Bitch. Oh. A uh, woman is not a bitch just because she denies you. How do we do it? Well... First, we take our clothes off, and then you get on top of me, or I could get on top of you. How do we do it in the hammock? I don't feel like it'd be very comfortable. You're right. I should have told you everything a long time ago, but I could His battery's gonna be dead with his lights on like that. I guess I fell asleep. All I can remember next is being startled out of sleep by the sound of footsteps. I was sure it was Dad, so I just sat up and I listened for him. But the footsteps stopped. Then there was this cracking noise behind me. I turned around, and standing there was this hideous looking man. He was so grotesque, he was almost inhuman. He dragged me along the ground, and I blacked out. I don't know what happened after that, I just don't know. Chris, it's all right, you're all right. When I woke up, I was in my own bed. My like parents just have never said a word about it. Took you back to your house and put you in your bed? What's that? Damn it, it's that battery. I charged it yesterday. What do you think happens when you leave your lights on? It's definitely not going to start. We're going to have to watch that. It's okay. The plot, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's real weak. Is that a boot necklace? Yeah, it looks like a boot. It's a boot necklace that matches her sweater. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare 
scare you like that. Between you and Shelly, I'm lucky I haven't had a heart attack already. I guess he must have left. Come on, let's get out of here. Where'd the three bodies go? He's so good at cleaning up after himself. Is that Shelly? Or is there two Jasons now? Fucking Shelly. God damn that guy. A beautiful girl like you should never go out in the dark alone. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Why do you do these stupid things? I have to. He's a stupid idiot. Great aim. Bullseye. Andy? But she's a baby, just leave her alone. She has a baby. Do you want a beer or not? Sure. Alright, you're right back. Is she not pregnant? Andy! Yep. Yeah. Are you still out there? I can't hear you. Ugh. Through his crotch. <laughs> Ooh. Really? No body, no blood? He like chopped him right through the crotch. There's gotta be blood pooled somewhere. God, I hate when you don't answer me. Oh well, I'll read this magazine instead. Oh god. Where's this coming from? Great shortcut, Rick. But she had a baby, though. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. I was just practicing. Well, don't do that to me. Go down the cellar and check the fuse box. So the lights were on. She comes in with a propane lantern while the lights are on, and the lights just go off. <laughs> Lucky she had that propane lantern with her. <laughs> just a, oh, this movie's horrible. <laughs> is it even possible that this that this movie is somebody's favorite yeah. of the of the whole series? Yeah, it's in three D. That's <laughs> everybody loves three D movies. So we're gonna be standing in water playing with electricity. <laughs> nice makeup job. Yeah. Stop fooling around, man. You cry wolf. Look at what happens. Boy, Jason makes good time. That's better. He got it working. He's apparently a good conduit. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> so 
this is the movie where the hockey mask comes in. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Shelly. Yeah. Seems awfully quiet. It's because everyone's dead. Maybe Jason, like, has a crush on her or something. Actually did put her back in bed. Like, is killing all of her friends because he just wants to be with her. <laughs> he loves her. That crazy guy's gonna find another eyeball. <laughs> Where's that coming from? I don't know what kind of game you guys are playing, but I don't like it. Are they all gonna be shoved in that bathtub? <laughs> Jason's really sick way of drawing her a bath. <laughs> Here you go. I drew a bath for you. That one got me. <laughs> I wasn't even looking and it still got me. I like looked away for a second. Strong as f he just threw a dude through the window. Dead weight, too. Just chucked him right through there. Jason hates reading. <laughs> Yeah, closet, no way in or out. Or just one way in and out. Good thinking. Ooh, oh, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Don't worry, he's here to save you. This is why they started making hoods with snaps instead. Easier to break away. Oh yeah, he already took the keys. Oh, she's got them. Oh, they siphoned her gas. Yeah, that's not ideal. Here's a reserve tank. It's fine. He's going to save you, put you back in your bed. Just like last time. He loves you. You need to go home. <laughs> your father's going to be worried. <laughs> He's fast for a big fella, right? Golly. He's like, this is exactly where I want you. I mean, she's not hiding <laughs> behind the red. Oh, he's just pissed. Hit him again. Harder, though. <laughs> Let me just climb back up the rope. He's really strong. Didn't break his neck. Yeah, yeah lady. Like, you see how thick that sucker was? No way it broke his <laughs> neck. 
Oh yeah, he's not, he's not hanging there anymore. Must have hit him in the arm, like you said. Mm. It's merely a flesh wound. Mask saved him. In front of the skull's really thick. Oh, geez, is she gonna get in that boat and float away like the first one? Yep. Didn't turn out so great for the first one. She's gonna wake up and start dangling her. <laughs> Common nightmare ending there, huh? <laughs> Taking her to the fifth floor. Friday the 13th, part three in the books. Mm -hmm. The worst one so far. For the sure. worst one so far. Just poor storyline, yeah. I think. There wasn't much to it other <laughs> than, all right, how can Jason kill somebody? Yeah. Right? How can we make some rand more people die? Yeah. We'll have to bring in some randos. Mm -hmm. I think the kill count was the highest yet. So. Yeah. Random people to kill. Yeah, right? for no real good reason. Well, speaking of kills, which one was your favorite? Either the spear gun. Mm hmm or the hammock. I just think it's so cool when they oh, when he comes uh, up underneath. through yeah. things from underneath. Just yeah. visually interesting. My favorite's a chop in the half, basically. When he chops oh, yeah. the guy right down the Ooh, crotch. Groin. That's a good one. Then you see him all folded up at the yeah. top, right? This is obviously the film where uh, Jason gets his iconic hockey mask. Yes. Right? And uh, yep. that will become the, the face of the franchise from here on out. Finally happened. Finally. Yep. So, any other thoughts? He's a big guy. Yeah. Much bigger than I feel like he should have grown to. Yeah. Given his deformities when he was a little kid, yeah. but I, I, he's definitely bigger than part two, right? Yeah, it feels like, like it. He got a little bit bigger. Than... Yeah. It was a new actor, I think. Obviously, there is some continuity in the actor that plays Jason. I think, and the, there's couple actors that play him a couple different times. Oh, okay. But uh, I think this was definitely the first time this actor played Jason. Okay. I, mean, I think you actually see him as Jason in the credits, right? At the beginning. He is a big dude. Yeah, big fella. And and you actually get to see his face more in this. Yeah, the makeup's so impressive. Yeah. Still, still pretty impressive, with, especially his neck region, mm -hmm. all of the additions there. Yeah. 
But yeah, he was very, uh, looked like they didn't show his face really in part two other than that dream sequence. Mm-hmm. This time he, he sh- took off his mask and taunted her saying, hey, remember me? Yeah. I was the guy that yeah. dragged you from the woods back to your bed. But why? <laughs> I don't know. Again, storyline real weak. Like, why did that happen? No. They never go into they just it. Fought away and got away and then blacked out that part, right? I guess maybe. Just don't see that happening. Hit her head or something. Got I thought for sure they were going to have like a love story here at the end. Yeah. Or at least he was going to have a love story with her at the oh, end. She was just. He loved her and wanted to take her home to keep yeah, her safe. Yeah, yeah, like kind of thing. he. Yep, she was Based part of his. Story. Yep, that's <laughs> kind of what I figured. Like, why else would he have not killed her the first time that they met each other? But whatever. The mysteries of Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. Yep. Why, Jason? Why did you let her go the first time? Why did the writers write this one <laughs> like this? All right, what should people comment down? What's their favorite kill? Yeah, what's your favorite kill? And does anyone really like this one? Like, is this somebody's favorite? Yeah, is this your favorite Friday the Thirteenth out there? I have a hard time believing it, but I guess I haven't seen any others besides the first two so maybe it gets worse yeah the plot's probably the weakest of the first three but i think the kills were pretty there was a lot of good kills in this which is why a lot of people like it plus the mask so let us know if this is your favorite friday the 13th movie right and for what reasons and your favorite kill in this one right anything else um i just i thought you were gonna say that your favorite part was the popcorn i do like the pop the 3d popcorn part trying to catch it right (laughs) The best I like use the of visuals 3D of in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Popcorn. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Gotta love it. Yeah. Well. Like, comment, subscribe. Come watch the rest of these with us because yeah, we're gonna we're keep on watching them. We gotta we gotta start Nightmare on Elm Street next though. Next. Oh, we have to, oh we do. That's we next have to switch schedule. franchises because yep, they're, they're gonna go back merge. And forth. Yeah. And we'll finally merge them at the very end with Freddy versus Jason. So. Ooh. Okay. But we gotta travel so we down won't the road be, to get there. So we won't be doing Friday the 13th for a while. Well, just a week. Okay, just one week. Yeah. All right, never mind. A week off to watch Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1, right? So, yeah. And if you want early access, check out our Patreon link down below. As well as full-length commentaries and more add on our Patreon. Link's down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. gal doesn't even get a line, just a banana. Not even a line, just a banana. Howdy folks, welcome on back to you, me, and the movies, and it's time for another fun Friday, Friday the 13th, part four. This was one of my favorites. Part four. Part four. It's one of my favorites. Pretty good cast. You're going to recognize some of the faces in this one. I think you're going to like the faces you see. Jamie Lee Curtis? No, she's not in Friday the 13th. <laughs> All right. She's a scream queen, though. She's in a lot of horror films we'll watch eventually. Yeah. We'll get to that down the road. Where, where did we leave off in Friday the 13th Part 3? Are they connected somehow? Yeah, they're, they're all in the same continuity. They just have one of the same characters. We were in a barn. Yeah, he has a mask now. Yeah. What happened to him at the very end? He got stabbed. He got axed. He got axed. Got axed. Remember, she chopped him in the head, and he went. <gasps> yeah, but he didn't die, obviously. We don't know that. I don't he think he have. died. I guess we'll see. Yeah, Maybe his we'll mom see. comes back from the dead. Yeah, remember, she jumped out of the lake, but that was a dream. Right. So, what happens in this one? More Jason. I don't know. Perhaps. Perhaps we'll get more Jason. We'll have to find out, right? I guess so. Should we jump in? First, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, and more. Links down below. Let's watch Friday the 13th, part four. Let's do it. I don't want to scare anyone, but I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. Oh. A little flashback situation. His body was never recovered from the lake after he drowned. And if you listen to the old timers in town, they'll tell you he's still out there. This is from number two. Is he dead too? 
Didn't scare me this time. <laughs> she couldn't have, like, not hit him right in the mask. Oh. The final chapter. And then they make ten more. <laughs> That's usually how it works. Usually the final <laughs> chapter of horror movies is like the, the beginning middle. of the next chapter. <laughs> Corey Feldman. Crispin Glover. I feel like I should know that that face. McFly. Oh. Tom Savini's back. I missed the 3D titles. Yeah. This is so basic, you know? Oh, the aftermath. Careful, y'all. He's still awake. I mean, he's still alive. He's probably still alive. Maybe. Never know. Yeah, they're all dead. You can pull it up over there. All dead. Some emergency. They're all dead. You miss the guys believing the wet stuff? Yeah. Strap him down harder, you guys. Strap him down harder. He's probably not dead. I think he's dead. He's probably not dead. Look pretty dead. No, I don't think he's dead. He probably just put his mask on someone else. This your last? Mm. Got one more over there. Real cute girl. Was. Well, she still is. All you gotta do is go over there and take off your mask. Is it Real weird nice. that his eating is more disgusting to me than his comment? Meet me in the cold room. I'm closing up for the night. What do you say? Okay. Don't do it. He's still alive. Told you. You got the curse? Axel? What a little shit. It's weird. That escalated quickly. Jesus Christmas! Holy Jesus God damn! Holy Jesus jumping Christmas sh I must be nuts! I mean I run! Yeah. Poor judgment. twist there. Read my lips. Leave me alone. He's alive. Shocker. What do you think? I think you're getting horny. She just say I think you're getting horny. She just told her mom that. Corey Feldman. Sure. Kind of looks like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Broke up BJ Betty, so to speak. And would you lighten up on her? She's all right. You should have treated her right. I treated her right. That's what's driving me so crazy. Oh, George. What? It says you're a dead f What? A dead f and I'm a dead f Oh, God, I'm horny. <laughs> Paul, let's pick her up. Sammy, where are we going to put her? Canada in love. 
Poor gal doesn't even get a line. Just a banana. Not even a line. Just a banana. You got it. Let's see, what did I tell you? What? 24 beers between them? It's not gonna last very long. Life really did change a lot when they made the, the cube. You know, the beer cube. Yeah, you just carry them around. Yeah. Case carry. in each hand. Yep. Gotta love technology. Innovation. Uh, look, I got my reputation in the sixth grade. Well, what does Paul think? Paul thinks I'm great and bad. So that's where I keep him. <laughs> what are the... I'm finding these conversations super awkward and just like out of contact. Like just, they jump right into the middle of a conversation, right? <laughs> Surprised he doesn't have his binoculars out. You want to make a fool out of yourself, always do it with someone new. Uh, how, how far is it to Crystal Point? Well, that's where we're going. Yeah, it's a long walk. That's where we're going, the exact opposite direction that we were just riding. Right. Oh, they're going down the hill. I thought they were... <laughs> two, count them. One, two, yeah, yeah, and two of us. Twins. What kind of teenage twins wears the same outfit, though? I don't know. <laughs> They're kind in movies. Yeah. So you'd really identify them as twins. Exactly. Like, oh, those are definitely twins. Yeah. They're wearing the same clothes. Where did she think she was going? Back to the house. Is she like starter period or something? <laughs> That's horrible. Confidence. Love it. No, no thanks. I think I'm overdressed. Well, hey, Trish. Bye bye. She knows him. Sam! 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 <laughs> Dicking around in water is not a funny thing to me. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing you could do. Water is very dangerous. I don't like it. Hi. Rob Dyer. Oh. Hello. Hi. What's your problem? I'm here with the car. Oh, car. Um, it, it won't start. Where are her pants? I think she's wearing short shorts. What are you hunting for up here? Bear. Anybody up at the lake today? You can't be hunting for bear. How about kids? Are any kids, vacationers, people like that? Yeah. He's hunting Jason. This is it. Thanks for the lift. Here's our house. <laughs> Come on over. Come here, I want to show you something. It's like a face-off prodigy. Yeah, I like it. Hey, how come you turn that off? Relax, Jimbo. <laughs> Teddy. Teddy, uh, I've got to get another drink. I'm going to need to be wasted before we make out. <laughs> Just about like you. Great rhythm. This pen. <laughs> it was the 80s. Right? Listen, yeah. If it, if it gets too bad out there, or if you want to take a shower, or whatever, we're always home. Good. Just welcome strangers into your house. It's a great idea. He seems like a nice guy. 
Yeah, if he's gonna kill Jason, I'm I'm all for him. Never understood the appeal of shotgunning a beer. <laughs> you waste half of it. You waste half of it on the floor, and then you just get the rest on your body, right? Like the rest of it's just all over your clothes. You don't mind, do you? Actually, I was thinking about taking a little swim. It seems to be getting a bit close in here for me. I dance? Well, let's mind our own business. I said that I wanted to talk to you for a second. Not now, dead <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk to you about. She's gonna get punched in the face. Great Nats for a swim. Paul? She's waiting for Paul to come. He ain't coming. <laughs> I know you're out there, Polly. Uh-oh. I feel like a lake is the last place I would want a skinny dip. You said that before. Is there a dead body in there? Not yet. There's about to be, huh? Jason didn't come up out of the water like he did in the first one. Just a bigger version of him. I know you're out there. Paul? Screw you, Paul. I can't go through with this. I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. Well, you're single now. <laughs> you waited about five minutes too long to go chasing after her. You wanna dance? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is he making a like a Cheeto atom? <laughs> Cheeto molecules. If, uh, you wanted to be with Tanet. Well, I did. Now I want to be with you. Why don't we just go upstairs? She's just making her way around, seeing which one fits, right? That's a teddy bear. Want to give teddy bear a kiss? That line's not working, dude. <laughs> What are his arms doing? <laughs> I just feel like, how is this your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Acting so weird in this one. like the brother of one of the previous victims or something. Uh oh. Good thing he's still got his machete. Vintage porn. Oh, kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> the acting is like almost painful for me to watch. I'm not gonna lie. It's just so bad. You go. Tina, I'm gonna leave without you. Take an umbrella. Who even are these girls? We don't know who they are. They're just randos in the middle of the forest. We don't know how they knew the, the chick next door. Like, that wasn't explained at well, all. I think they know who owns that house. A couple of those guys are regular. Hey, flat. There's just a lot of holes in this plot. 
you're thinking too much about that. Well, I just, like, uh, I mean, it's like... Uh, it feels like a, a porno storyline, right? Like, it's just missing huge parts that would be helpful to know. But, oh. Oh, sh I'm going upstairs. Tommy? I'm gonna towel off and then I'm gonna strangle you. Tommy? Trish? Oh, no. She cut their power. Where was she and why is she going to strangle Tommy? I'm going to towel off and then I'm going to strangle you. She was out in the rain, apparently. For what reason, though? Like, these things need to be explained. <laughs> Otherwise, it makes no sense. Otherwise, it's just random dialogue scattered throughout. I'm not loving this one. You're thinking too much. I'm not thinking too much. The, get, just get to the stabbing people part. This is my favorite part of the plot. The girls getting naked part. <laughs> Shocker. Mom, we're home. When did you ever leave, though? Because you were home before. They went to the store. People are going to hate this reaction. <laughs> Don't kill her. What the hell are you doing here? What are you trying to do? Kill me? Did I? Was, um... I don't know if he's a dead <laughs> to the wine bottle. Ted. <laughs> Ted. Now he's a dead <laughs> Yeah. Can she see her skewered to the side of the house? Jason's fast. He gets around quick. Sandra was just a really great kid. Oh, uh, yeah. Nailed it, didn't I? But he's dead. He's not dead. Oh my god. Tommy's at the house. Yeah. And your mom's missing. Tommy might be okay, though, because he's a kid. And Jason is still technically like a kid, you know? Yeah. Maybe he'll see him as an equal and not kill him. It's wishful thinking because I don't like to see you know kids die. <laughs> so you wanna give the old teddy bear a kiss? He's really gotta stop using that line. It's not working for anyone. Jimbo. <laughs> <gasps> well, he's not gonna use that line anymore. Nope. Shower's still on. She's putting a towel on. The towel's gonna be wet. <laughs> I think I'm in love. What? Oh, he's out now. Sorry. Can't do love. Who's gonna be the sad one? Is she gonna be sad because he never comes to bed? Or is he gonna be sad because when he comes to bed, she's gonna be dead? She's gonna be sad. Come on, get in here. There's plenty of room. We can sing a duet. Oh. Oh. Crunchy. Yeesh.
came through the door? Tommy, you stay here, okay? And lock the door. Tommy, hold the fort. So worried about her brother being she left her brother at home and then she's gonna leave him at home again. Ding a ling. This this cannot be your favorite Friday the thirteenth movie. It's horrible. <laughs> he's been here. What if he's still is here? Take he's not Take there, he's at your house, don't worry. Where's the dead girl? I'm on the floor. And the dead guy on the projector screen. What does he do with all these bodies? I'm going downstairs. You stay right here with Court. No! Stay right here with Court. Oh no. He just jumped through a window upstairs? Oh no. What do you do with all the bodies? Oh. Well, he was there. Just walked around the body on the on the porch. Oh. oh. He's so strong. He just What's in his head? And, uh, pick. got like a CB radio right there. Think help would reach him in time? No, but... <laughs> Could someone just f***ing finish him off? Just jumped over the body. <laughs> she okay? Yeah. Trying to make himself look like him? This is an interesting tactic. Ouchie! 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 Rough. 
Yeah, there's no coming back from that. He's dead? Uh, yeah. The blade went all the way through his brain. He's going to be just fine. But right now, what you need is rest. Hey, pretty proud of the kid for f finishing what everybody else has failed to do. <laughs> but but B, we got a little Dexter on our hands now. <laughs> got a taste of something he liked. You think so? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now he will adopt the name Jason and continue on with those killings. Is that your guess? Yeah, that's my guess. Yeah. He is the next Jason. Oh boy. Tommy becomes Jason is your guess for what happens next. Yeah. Because you think Jason's gone for good? Uh, yeah, did you see him go ape <laughs> him? <laughs> Finally finished that Yeah. What do you think he was chopping there at the end? Oh, his head. You think he was just going... On yeah, his head. head and neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Corey Feldman is Tommy. What do you think of him? As he's the hero of the movie. He's a great child actor. I mean, he, as a kid, he did a great job of acting, mm -hmm. and this one too, he was believable. Mm -hmm. And then we saw Crispin Glover from Back to the Future. Yep, oh, well, good old George McFly. Yeah. Yep. Was he a better dancer in this or Back to the Future? Back to the Future. Yeah. yeah. And I have a, an affinity to Back to the Future, so. So let's talk about, you had an issue with the plot. <laughs> yeah. But let's talk about. A little about, bit. Like, <laughs> a little bit of one. It's about teenagers going to the lake, getting drunk and having sex, fooling around. Yeah. And Jason torments those. Yeah, it's a it's a porno with a murderer. It's about yeah, It's about how it feels. Of, basically. It's about how it feels. It's not a Citizen Kane. It's Jason just needs somebody to kill. I and just. they put him in situations to kill him interestingly. I just think they did a better job of setting a good plot line, context, in the first two. dialogue, and in one and two, they yeah. did just fine. Part two, you had issues with the plot as well. Yeah. But there is a pretty good plot in this with Ron. Ron is Sandra's brother. Yeah, it's not the plot so much as just the, the incohesive dialogue okay. surrounding the plot. Okay. Scrapped together. You didn't know what people were talking about. Cause it, so. it, it felt like you were jumping into the middle of a scene with no context as far as what the other s scenes were. Like, it wasn't cohesive. Well, I think the dialogue in these films aren't supposed to be like. You're I know, not it's not to supposed like, to matter. You're not supposed to think about, well, why are they talking about this? It's just. I know, it's not supposed to matter, lives. but me being somebody who's an observer, it bothers me. Yeah. <laughs> so. But what did you think about it? Sandra? It was actually one of your favorite kills. In Friday the 13th Part 2. She was one of the two impaled in the bed. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember her in particular. She but... was in the... Her boyfriend had the truck and they got towed away at beer at the beginning. They are the ones that were at the phone booth and they got towed away. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was Sandra's brother. And then well, yeah. he got killed by the same guy. Sure did. He's killing me! He's yeah. killing me! <laughs> yeah, as if it weren't Run! obvious. He's killing me! <laughs> And then he's dead. It looked like he had a hammer in his head when he got thrown back through the window at Trisha's house. Yeah, a hammer or a pick or yeah, something. Something. Yeah. So. something with a wood handle. So what what would you think of the deaths in this one? There was a bunch of them. They definitely, you could tell fan favorite kills were things where things were going through other things into them. Like mm -hmm. like the very first one, the arrow going through the bed yeah. and through Kevin Bacon. You could tell that's a fan favorite kill. So they just like, like went recreate it. gung-ho with this one. Yeah. Through the raft, through the through the projector screen, uh, throwing the axe through the door. Yeah, through the door, yeah. killing him through like shooting through the glass in the shower to to get yeah. to the guy. Yeah, just, so just going through a lot of That's things. The second head he's crushed, right? Because he crushed uh, something in the, the boyfriend in the in third three. One, right? Yeah, popped an eye out. Right. This time he kind of just crunched his face, yeah. right? It's a big fella. Oh, man. What'd you think of his face in this one? Yeah, real he gross. Looked a little bit more like he was, uh, maybe he was dead for a little bit. 
<laughs> something brought him back, right? Could be, yeah. Uh, because he looked like he kind of got a deteriorating, right? I don't know. Uh, he, he looked rough. Yeah. Rough. And then that machete through the head. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So Tom Savini was the special effects in this one, which he was also the special effects in the first one. Mm-hmm. So how, how do you think, did he improve on his craft in between? Because he didn't do two and three. Yeah, I mean... I if you were to compare the special, the special effects and the kill effects to the other ones. The this... special effects in this felt a lot like one. I don't remember a ton from the special effects in two and three. I just feel like they were more standard kills. Yeah. Three didn't? had the uh, the good old crotch chop. That was pretty good special effects. Yeah. Like the full one got in half above the Oh, the yeah, end. that was pretty cool. But uh, a lot of the three effects were done for 3D, right? Yeah, weird. There was a hand getting chopped off by a machete. Yeah, Sports. I think the anytime they do a, a head special effect. Yeah. Very cool. Mm-hmm. So what was your favorite kill in this one? The spear through his nuts, maybe. Yeah, the spear gun through the nuts. Yeah. You think that was uh, Shelly's spear gun? You had Jason put it somewhere and Probably. brought it back? Probably, yeah. yeah. Same spear, must be. Because where, where did he get a spear gun? <laughs> exactly. Right? It's got to be from his... Sh- where does he get of any shack. of his weapons? He's probably got a whole closet full of them in his little shack out in the lake. He moves so fast from one spot to the other, too. Yeah, he, he, he does move pretty fast. Right? From upstairs to downstairs, throwing somebody through a window. Yeah. And, to the other house. Almost unrealistically fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's next for Friday the 13th? Like I said, Jason's dead, but I think uh, Tommy maybe assumes that role and becomes the next Puts on Jason. the mask. Yeah, he definitely... Becomes the killer. Had that look in his eye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll have to find out. So what should people comment on? Well, favorite kill again. Yeah, what's your favorite kill? go to. In Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Yeah. They don't make any more movies after this except for the other seven and a half. Right. right. <laughs> Actually, there's like eight or nine more after this. But uh, uh, Did anyone else find the dialogues as off-putting as I did, or is it, is it just me? Do you watch these movies for the dialogue? No, obviously nobody watches them for the cinematic dialogue. I watched it dialogue, for the dancing but, and yeah. <laughs> tried to learn some new moves, personally. <laughs> Jerky. Jesus. I was just waiting for him to hit her in the face with his arm. You almost arm, punched right? me. I wasn't going to hit you. You almost punched me. Get out of the way. I'm dancing here. <laughs> Anything else? No, I think we're good. You think we're good? Yeah, yeah. like, comment, and subscribe. You got to go dance some more after this, so yeah. hit that Can, like and subscribe button. Come back for the next Friday the 13th. Yeah. If you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, and more, check out our Patreon link down below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Shut him up. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another Friday the 13th movie. Oh, boy. Friday the 13th, part five. And do you remember where we were last time we left off with the final chapter? What happened at the end? Corey Feldman. Really weird dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah. From Crispin Glover. Yeah. Corey. Oh, yeah. Corey Feldman. Oh, no. Tommy. Tommy. He got a taste of something he liked when he killed Jason. Yeah. So now I think he becomes the new Jason. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. Not thrilled about that. Corey Feldman's kind of creepy sometimes. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I guess so. Should we check it out? I think we have to. All right, let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full income commentaries, access to our polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Links down below. Let's watch Friday the 13th, Part 5. Whoa. 
Uh oh. That's it, all right. Grave diggers. Let's rip this sucker open. Gotta get a look at the main man. <laughs> just buried him right off the surface. <laughs> right on the surface, just put dirt on top of it. <laughs> Not in there. Oh. Oh, he is in there. <gasps> so he's a zombie. This must be a nightmare. Yeah. Yes, Tommy. Years later. Corey Feldman's out, huh? A new beginning. Thank you. Anytime, doll. Creep. You okay? He's taking a vow of silence. You'll find we're very different from the state institution. We don't have any guards here. Nobody's going to tell you what you can do or what you can't do. We're right on Crystal Lake. It's wonder his mind isn't fried with all the drugs I've given him. Oh, great. A knife guy, eh? <gasps> Me. You scared of rubber spiders on strings? Man, you are one scared cat. Where I come from, you learn to be scared of nothing. No spider would scare me. Yo, man. Don't tell me. Still has his mask. Apparently. I'm one of you, man. I'm just visiting. My granddaddy works here. Sure he does. Split. Catch you later. This action. Stop! Come on, don't. Oh, it really does work there. We found him in the Hubbard's woods. They were screwing their heads off, Matt. Now I think we're all pretty lucky this time because Ethel didn't see them. They don't respect others' property, and they're all crazy. You tell them off. <laughs> Ethel, these kids aren't doing. 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 Say it like you mean it, Ma. Would you shut the f up? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, my final words. You gonna see them again? I want to say at the end of somebody's spear or dart gun or something. This one already is like really trying to be sticky, right? Like we, it's like we are. Still can't be, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely not a serious movie here. Laundry, Joey. Can I help? I'm really very good at doing laundry. Matt never assigned to. Your hands are all full of chocolate. Listen, if you change your mind, I'll be right around, okay? Joey. Joey. Jesus. What He's the Shelly of this. Of this movie, <laughs> Shelley. I think Shelley was a little bit smarter than him. <laughs> you know something? I really love it here. I hate it. You know, um. He's like forty. Like <laughs> fun. <laughs> Leave me alone! Oldest freaking teenager I've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh, guess we shouldn't have given Vic an axe, huh? It's <laughs> a good kid. I know, Matt. Sticky fingers, but a good kid. Oh, God! Bunch of pussies.
pussies. <laughs> Come on, Roy. <laughs> Get your hands dirty. Get this done by the time I get back. I gotta take a crap. Crap my ass! Just do it, man! It's an unfortunate time to have to have to poop. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to go that far to take a deuce. I'm trying to find a good log. <laughs> Cut it out, Pete. <laughs> Never seen that before. Come on now, come on, everybody, same starting. Hey, Vinny. Rudy, 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 Right in the struggle bus. Do me a favor. Don't kiss me when there's people around, okay? <laughs> Yo, breakfast! Come and get it! I could have done that. <laughs> you, you don't set a place for a dead person. I said I was sorry! She's the only one there doing anything. She's doing the laundry, she's setting the table. <laughs> Does anyone else do anything? Reggie told him dinner or breakfast is ready. He doesn't even live there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's next to go. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> you big dildo. Eat your slop. Ain't I make the best goddamn stew in the whole wide world? Best goddamn stew in the whole wide world. That's that goddamn coyote. He's gonna try to kill my lot again. That is one f***ing ugly man that goes there. That's <laughs> one f***ing ugly man, Mama. Mm. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> you talking to me, Sheriff? No. Looks like we got us a maniac on the loose, huh, Sheriff? What's Roy's deal? It's showtime! <laughs> <laughs> what? Minty. Hey! Hey! I mean, I'm glad people at least warned me that, like... Like, it worse? Yeah. Like, don't be in it for the plot, because it's not good. <laughs> Who's killing all these people? <laughs> I wonder. Is it Jason? either Tommy or Roy. I don't <laughs> know. It's about the drifter that just showed up at the Hubbard farm. Mm. <laughs> I think it's him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's watching. Oh, to be young and energetic. Oh, 
told you it wasn't him. If you happened upon somebody having sex in public, mm. would you watch? That's how cute they were. <laughs> what else would you do? Depends on what I was, what I had to do. Yeah, yeah. depends on what you had going on that day. Yeah. <laughs> My boobs. What? Holy boobs! It's just very uncomfortable. I think it's Roy. You're supposed to be having sex with your girlfriend. You're d***ing around at the pond. <laughs> oh, cool, a stick. I like sticks. Looks a lot like Jason. Don't it? show up the minute they get hungry. So They're not coming. Is he wearing a kilt? No, oh, just 80s pants are just really weird. <laughs> <laughs> you, you notice how, like, 80s fashion ma has made its way back, right? Yeah. Men's 80s fashion didn't really make its way back. Hey, where'd you get that? Hey, say hello to Nita. She's my girlfriend. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> hey, little brother, what's happening? <laughs> Listen, I want you all to meet somebody. Hey, Pam. Yo, Pam, come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> this is my friend, Pam. Hi. She's my Come girlfriend. here, baby. Come here. <laughs> what's up, Pam? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Pam, are you hungry? Uh, no, thanks. You want a taco? Egg roll? Mm. What about a slice of no, pizza? Thanks. What about you, brother? <laughs> I know what you want. Want a beer? Yeah, I'll take it. Get out of here. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you take this? Wow! Hey man, this is bad! <laughs> I got you, didn't I? Really scared you, didn't I? I was gonna chop you up into itty bitty pieces, my friend. You hear me? I said, are you hearing me? Tommy! He had it coming. He took a swing at him. Self defense. You okay? Oh, damn enchiladas. Oh. You gonna be alright? Someone always taking a in these movies. <laughs> it's the enchiladas. <laughs> gotta get it, bitch. Oh, lighten up, demon. You better watch out for the snake that's gonna crawl up that crapper and bite your ass. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Hey, baby. Ooh, baby. She had to poop too. <laughs> Yowzers. <laughs> through the chest or through the head? Through the throat? At least he got to see his brother before he died. Shouldn't have had that enchilada. And you, hmm. little reckless, I want you in bed asleep by the time I get back, right? 
No problem. Your girlfriend tells you to be in bed. You listen. Listen. Mm -hmm. Shut him up. <laughs> About time, you wad. Jeez. You talk. You dumb. I'm not having any of that, dude. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of out when she started putting her fingers in it. Like, <laughs> and then she spit in it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat anything that lady makes. <laughs> movie is just so bad. <laughs> well, who's the killer, this detective? I told you, I think it's, what's his name? Ken? No, Roy? Roy, the paramedic? Yeah. It's either Roy or Tommy, I can't decide. I think it's Roy. Make a decision. It's a long time to get to know somebody, don't you think? Shh, Jake, please. She's not interested. I, I want to make love with you. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't laugh at him. That's rude. I, I, I said I, I didn't mean it. Bye. That's how you rebound. <laughs> I really like you. <laughs> like to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Can it wait? <laughs> She's sitting there like naked in the living room, just watching a movie in her bathroom. What is it we have to see every girl's tits in this franchise? I don't mind it. I call Top Bunk. Just leaving her boobs hanging out while she sleeps. <laughs> Jason's really going for it, isn't he? Always with great dancing. It's the 80s. Best decade of dancing ever. Jason's like, oh, she's dancing. I'll leave her alone. <laughs> I'll come back later. He's killing all these people. Is it Jason? Rough way to see your first boobies. What's the matter? It's me. What is it? What is it? They're all dead. She, she didn't even give him a chance to say anything. <laughs> it's me. It's me. I'm right here. He's really fast. He's probably there too. Is it Jason? Sure, sh looked like Jason. But Tommy would be pretty well equipped to make a mask that looked like Jason. I just not sure about the whole body type. Help! Oh, Roy. <laughs> Told you it was Roy.
That's a different Jason, though. Is there two of them now? Where you? you ran away from her. <laughs> Bummer. Got railroad spiked in the head. You know, throw his body through a window. <laughs> nope, it's grandpa's. Oh. She wins the wet t shirt contest. That's Roy. That one looks like Jason. Get away from my girlfriend! You better run his ass over. That wasn't enough. Weird hug. <laughs> oh, that's his girlfriend. <laughs> There's another one. Watch out. That's just one. <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Sure that's not Tommy? We haven't seen him in a while. Could be. I just really chasing? think Roy is involved here, too. I'm not saying they're not tag-teaming it. They could very well be tag-teaming it. That's Tommy. Oh, no. Just throw it at him. <laughs> There's Tommy. Roy's gonna be like, where's your mask? He'll kill you! Jason. Listen to me! Run! No! Tommy! Listen! Tommy! 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 Yeah, great idea. Everybody up the up the stairs. Everybody to the top. He'll never find us here. To have been the easiest one to see coming, right? It, like, just kept setting you up for it. Like, look at this guy. <laughs> the cool zoom in straight to Roy's face. He's being all creepy. Yeah. The kid who was axed to death at the woodpile was 
Roy's son. God only knows why Roy kept it hidden all these years, but he did. Is this like the dream part of every one of these? Did he just absorb Jason Voorhees? Yeah. It's weird. Oh no. He really is Jason Voorhees. All right. Friday the 13th, part five, a new beginning in the books. Oh, boy. I thought Tommy was going to be the killer in this one. No, it's After apparently part four, the next one. Now you think he's like, oh, okay, now he's really going crazy. He's going to start killing people. Yeah. Right. So what would you think? Obviously, this is like at the bottom of the rankings Impeccable for a lot of people. Writing. Right. Impeccable writing. Impeccable. <laughs> um at least now they're not taking trying to take themselves too seriously, yeah, right? Like they're fun with it. they're really leaning into the campiness of it all. Uh it actually didn't bother me as much as maybe number three. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like number three was just the dumbest one ever. I think you were just thinking too hard in number three. Could be. Yeah. It could be I just had admitted defeat by number four. <laughs> like, okay, these are just going to be stupid. But yeah, no, it, was, it was okay. Well, I thought you would like this one because there's kind of a, a murder mystery. To yeah, solve, a little bit, right? yep. Because you're wondering. They don't show Tommy at any of the... Like, he disappears when right. people start dying. So you're wondering, is it Tommy? And then... I thought maybe there was like a tag team sort of situation yeah, happening. Tommy but and Roy were teaming up. Yep, I kind of thought so, but Tommy and Roy no, were teaming up. Yep, but I was wrong. No, it was just Crazy Roy who was happened to be the father of. Yep, seeking vengeance for his son's death. Apparently, obviously the kills in this one are kind of weak too. They don't really show. Yeah, much. The, yeah, exactly. Not very gory. They don't show much of anything. But if you were to pick a favorite kill in this movie. Which one would it be? Guess the belt to the uh, or maybe the railroad tie through the yeah. forehead. Even though you didn't see, see that, you discover it, right? right? I think the belt in the tree was kind of cool. Yeah, right? that was maybe the most unique. They didn't show what happened to him, though, right? It was, right. It showed you what he was doing to him. What about the old uh, yard trimmers to the eyes? Yeah, there? that was different. Yeah. That was different. A little bit less gore in this one, but uh, at least there were some good boobies. Right. Lots of boobies. Yep. Lots of boobies to make up for the blood, I guess. Well, what should people comment on? Where does this movie favorite, stack up? Say, favorite, favorite set of boobies. Favorite no. set of boobies. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, yeah, favorite kill, I guess. Favorite kill, and where's this rank in your yep. Friday ranking system? Mm -hmm. right? Where is it land? And how long did it take you to figure out, it's Roy? Probably shouldn't have been that long. Yeah. Kind of make it pretty obvious, right? Yeah. All right, anything else? Not like, comment, subscribe. We're going to keep watching all of these, yeah. so keep tuning next. in. Going back and forth between Freddy and Jason now, or Roy, or Tommy, or who knows who's next. <laughs> who the hell knows? Right? Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to our polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Links down below. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.
I'm having such a great time. <laughs> I'm having such a great time. This is great! Howdy, folks! We're going back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another Friday the 13th movie. Uh-oh. And this one is my favorite out of the whole franchise. What are we on? Like nine? Part six. Oh, six. Friday the 13th, part six. And do you remember what happened in part five? Where did we leave off? Um, no, I don't remember anything, to be completely remember, honest. It was a, a new killer. The, is it the EMT one? It was, yeah. That was. Oh, okay. Roy was the killer. Roy, yeah. And then at the end, Tommy killed Roy. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Pushed him off out of the barn onto and the... What happened after that? Tommy was in the hospital, had the mask, killed the chick that came to visit him uh, in the hospital. Baby. We think. Who the hell knows? Could have been a dream. Could have. Could have been anything, because Friday the 13th endings are ambiguous, right? Yep. You never know if it really happened or not. So true. So what's going to happen in this one? Couldn't tell you. No guesses? Nope. All right. Well, should we just jump right in and find out? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out. Tommy's going to kill some people, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, and check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to our polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Check it out. The link's down below. Let's watch Friday the 13th, Part 6. We're back at Camp Crystal Lake. Because I feel like the last one wasn't at Crystal Lake. You didn't have to come, Oz. This is between me and Jason. I know, I know, I know. He is Jason. Jason belongs in hell. I'm going to see he gets there. Is this a different Tommy? Yeah, it's the same Tommy, but different actor. Different actor. Three for three. Very deeper in this one. Yeah. Still not deep enough. I really don't like this. Let's see Mary Catherine Gallagher. When he gets nervous, he stick his hand over his armpits and like Yummy. Gonna stab him just another time. Just double checking. Yeah, f you, Jason. Should have brought the waterproof matches. <laughs> Zombie Jason? Mm-hmm. 
And this one's your favorite. Yep. Hmm. You in show business, kid? You sure know how to make an ant your head blown off. Will you listen, damn it? Don't piss me off, Junior, or I will repaint this office with your brains. Look, Jason is alive. We dug up his body. Oh, iron this punk. No way, you gotta listen to me. Jason's coming here, he's after me. I tried to destroy him, but I f***ed up. You got that right, punk. Years ago, but no one in Forest Green wants to be reminded of what that maniac did here. That's why we changed the name. People want to forget this was Crystal Lake. They changed the name to Crystal Lake. <laughs> Forest Green. Hmm. You admit the sign did say Camp Forest Green with an arrow pointing this way. Oh no. Darren, we better turn around. Why? Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. There's no way that we can do this. Do you have a better suggestion? Run him over. He'll get out of our way. He's already a zombie. Should have kept going. Yeah, that really scared the <laughs> out of him. <laughs> All right, scumbag. Was it like a cap gun? <laughs> How tiny it is. Kill you. And if I get him first, it's shooting babies. Take American Express. <laughs> it says American Excess. <laughs> That's funny. Not dangerous. Jason is out there. He's looking for me. You mean the Jason of Camp Blood? Yes. No. This boy is not well, and I need to talk to him in private. Oh, come on, Dad. We were Megan, just. Megan, take your friends back to the camp. It's kind of cute. Megan, leave. <laughs> It's really gone to like very made for TV movie esque. It's just so kitschy. I mean, it was before, I guess. <laughs> I feel like it's worse than ever. Jason will return to the area that's familiar. No matter what you call it, it's still Camp Crystal Lake to him. He's like a weird accent or something that he's like trying to hide. But Might be Canadian. His R's sound funny. I earned it. Nobody's gonna find out. Oh no. Like I have to go and dig up Jason. Some folks have a strange idea of entertainment. This is bad news. Oh, and how do you know? I've been around long enough to see plenty on TV. You remember those big old bags of popcorn back in the day in the grocery stores? And you do know what today's date is, don't you? And I can think of only one thing even more terrifying. What? Did she allude to the fact that it's Friday the 13th? So this is the first time they've ever even mentioned that I can recall anything about Friday the 13th. Well, Pamela talks about it being his The birthday. day that... Oh, okay. Other, apart from that, though. I think I'd rather deal with old Jason. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Hold your tongue. Little paintball competition. Forever starving. You left your trouble, Larry. Your instinct to eat is stronger than your instinct to win. You're a real ass. You know that? Other than being all ass. <laughs> <laughs> so unfair. Oh, here we go with unfair again. Let's How'd they miss that big fella? Put on your headbands. <laughs> Liar for nuts. She should have stayed in the kitchen where she belongs. Why 
Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> He's got himself a machete now. Yeah. Roy, nobody's seen him. Of course not. If he hasn't accidentally pelleted himself, I'm sure he's lost. Yeah, well, <laughs> the game's not over till it's over. Well, yeah, that's right. What was that? What? Nothing. I could swear I heard something. All three at once? Impressive. Oh, my God. My God! Ah! Hey, what did I tell you? Hit the noise in the cherries. Ah! He's gonna be so bummed when that grave is filled in. Please, Sheriff. You'll see we dug it up. Well, you must have got chilly in the night and pulled the dirt back over. Somebody covered it over. I gotta see it. Freeze it, psycho. Now see what you've done. <laughs> Deputy draws revolver. He's been dying okay. to try this mail order laser scope. <laughs> Look at that Those. scope. You bang. No problem, Martin. Just a vagrant kid. We got it under control. Jason's not in his grave houses. Dig it up. Dig him up. Does he think I'm a fart head? <laughs> a fart head? <laughs> Look, here's a story. These are called Indian markers, okay? Let's just say you have a chief, right? And he dumps a squaw or his wife, whatever. And he decides to take off with another woman and take off with her. So he takes off, leaving his son with the mother. And all of a sudden, you know, a week or two later, the son wants to catch up with his dad, right? He wants to learn how to shoot a bow, stuff, you know, kill buffalo, whatever these guys do. <laughs> If this is as exciting as it gets, we're in big trouble, dude. <laughs> you are damn lucky, kid. With all the grief you've given me, you should be leaving wearing your balls as earrings. Balls as earrings. It's graphic. I'm more of a hoop guy. You wear your balls as hoops? <laughs> <laughs> no, ear. Never mind. <laughs> you thought I brought you up here just to. I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess I do owe you. Just... No, look, I, I have a headache, and, uh, but it's a messy act, and, oh, what the heck. Great. <laughs> Darling, you're gonna be the death of me. What a way to go, huh? Jason hates litterers. How dare you? Steven. Yep, Steven, lead him straight on? back to your girlfriend. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get to the sheriff's office. <laughs> Ooh, twofer. He's very efficient with the machete. Mm -hmm. Doesn't waste any time. Three heads at a time, two chests. I didn't know Dave Rod was in this movie. Oh. That's the hamster, Dave Rod. <laughs> There's this monster, and he was after me. Oh, you mean you had a bad dream? No, it was real, just like on TV. Jason's not gonna kill all the little kids, is he? You gotta keep it up to the end of the song. How much longer? What? <laughs> How long is that song? This is not American Pie. Like, <laughs> it would be exhausting to keep it at that rhythm, right? <laughs> ah, what is all? Court, you did not already. Oh, come on, wasn't that the end of the song? Great. Great. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, okay? Oh, what are you doing? Look at this. What happened to it? Squirrel. Oh, he's already inside. Nikki, somebody's out there. 
don't know. He's inside now. No way. It doesn't work unless it's plugged in. Sit down. <laughs> Sit the <f> down. <laughs> I'm having such a great time. This is great! <laughs> hey Nikki, what are you doing back there? Taking a dump? <laughs> this is great. This is great. Yeah, Jason don't care. He's a zombie anyways. How do you kill a zombie Jason? Stab him in the brain. Oh, I'm sorry. He can't come to the phone right now. He's in the can draining his lizard. <laughs> yeah. Tommy's studying up. I've got to talk to your dad about about Jason. I've got a plan. But first, I need to buy some supplies and. and then I'll, I'll... Tommy, my father's out looking for you right now. Something. And Tommy figured out what to do. I don't know. He must be a fast reader. Honey, I'm home. I'll order up some body bags. My boy sure wants us to believe his story. Well, he picked the right day to pull this. What do you mean? Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. I like her slippers. I like her suspenders that are holding up her long johns. Right? <laughs> I think I hear somebody fooling around out there. It's gotta be court. Yeah. Oh, it's just right there. You can see them sitting there. <laughs> you guys Wowzers. Crazy kids. Ripping heads off. Oh, man. Stay right again. <laughs> That's my <right>, mom. <laughs> it's gonna be a hairy turn. Hang on. Rock on. Hi, Daddy. End of the line. <laughs> Awkward. Jason's been making some PB&J. 
Strawberry. What? Sissy and Court are playing jokes. You know, trying to scare each other. Why? Because grown-ups think it's funny to be scared. What? <laughs> It's not funny. It's kind of funny. It's not funny. Wait, what if they try to scare us? Well, we'll scare them right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. It'll be so fun to see their head right outside the door. Well, what if I get scared again? You know what I used to do when I was a little girl and I got scared? Hot dog condiments. Just me? Just me. Yeah, just you. Good night. See you in the morning. Probably behind you. He has to leave someone alive until morning, right? Fling letters at each other. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> I like it. Hey, hey, get your hands off her, animal. You silly. Let him out of there, Rick. Don't clown around. I'm not the one with the funny red nose. Now open the cell. That is the most ridiculous, the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's wherever the red dot goes. I'm gonna, I wouldn't be standing behind her. I know. <laughs> I wanna... Here, Missy. Don't... Don't do this, Megan! Could easily get the keys if they were just laying right there. Come on, Hot Lips, let's go. You drive, I'll navigate. <laughs> Hot Lips. <laughs> Let me know when we're about to blast into hyperspace. I'll fasten my seatbelt. Sure, already have it on. The only way now to stop Jason is to return to his original resting place. Where he drowned in 1957. Lake Forest Green. At Crystal Lake, this nightmare began. Oh no. Please don't kill the kids. If I should die before I wake up, I'll be so fatigued. Holy! That's a lot of blood. Yeah. I'm gonna practice his archery. One more time. <laughs> now you go on back to bed. No, no, there's a scary man. Oh, what scary man? <laughs> Crushed him. Mm hmm. Popped him like a pimple. Ugh. 
He's faking it. He's faking it. He's still faking it, yeah. Headshot didn't work. Headshot doesn't work. Nope. Walking Dead, you were wrong. You're not gonna wanna go in there. Nope. There's her head. Wow. Daddy! Oh gosh. Oh! Way to keep it cool. So, what were you gonna be when you grew up? <laughs> Have we tried chopping his head off? Okay. Yeah. Just bent him right in half. Megan, get back to the cabin with the kids. Wait a minute, you can't do this. Get back in there before it's too late. <laughs> Megan, no! Well, make up your mind, buddy. behind you. That's his thing. Jason sure can hold his breath. Come on, Tommy. Tommy dead? Someone had to die from Kevin Bacon. Don't chop his head off, because needs the head to keep the chain on. Have we, Have tried, we tried chopping, chopping his, his head, head off? off? He was a zombie. How would he have blood? He still has innards. 
Shouldn't. I'm gonna wanna give him some chest compressions, too. There we go. Oh no, you gotta go faster than that. <laughs> It worked. It's a miracle. It's over. It's, finally... it's over. It's finally over. And we're halfway through these. Is that? <laughs> He's probably just chilling down there, waiting for his chains to break loose. All right. Friday the 13th, part 6, Jason lives in the books. And apparently there's no way to kill a zombie. Ah, he's a zombie Jason now. This one's your favorite? This one is my favorite. Why? Just because I love the whole zombie Jason and how he's brought back and how the design of Jason in this, and he's got his like tool belt and mm -hmm. gloves. And I just think he looks the badass, most badass in this movie. And then Tommy Jarvis is awesome in this movie, and the whole zombie Jason concept of bringing him back to life, and he's unstoppable. Cool. Yeah. I, uh, I think Tommy was a lot less uh, tormented yeah. in this one than the last one. Yeah, in five, he's like totally mental, right? Yeah. In this one, he's kind of got his stuff together, right? Yeah. Also, like how Jason seems to be even stronger now. Well, yeah, I mean, you come back from the dead. Yeah. He's like ripping off arms and stuff, and it looked like some of the acting from Jason's you know, actor mm -hmm. is like when he rips the guy's arm off. He's actually surprised he's that strong. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, cool! I'm even stronger now." <laughs> so yeah, what'd you think? Yeah, I mean, besides once they got to the killing, when the at the beginning when they were into like when they were trying to do acting and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sad. But once they just got into the killing part, Man. it was pretty good. Man. The kills were better in this one than. Five at least. Yep, for did, sure. Did you have a favorite kill? Triple head. The triple head. Yeah. Machete. Chop. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Pretty good. One. My favorite scene is the the camper. The RV, the RV. where she's rolling back yeah. and forth. And then he just kills them and the, the RV flips and then Jason just gets out. Like, yeah, that was matter, pretty funny. So. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. Not as gory as like the first four, but more gore than five mm -hmm. in some of the kills, and then there's no boobies in this one. You're right, no nudity. Yeah. Almost nudity with, I mean, we saw pants off, but yeah. didn't catch any of the goods. Were you disappointed that there was no boobies? Oh yeah, I just totally missed them. <laughs> uh, any other thoughts? No, I don't think so. Where do they go from here? Well, like I said, they're Jason's just waiting until his chains break loose, so... Or until a swimmer comes close enough. Just grabs him. Yeah. So I think that's probably where we're, we're at next. Yeah. Okay. So what should people comment on? <laughs> Favorite kill, as always. And uh, are you a fan of Zombie Jason? Yeah, where does uh, Jason Lives stack in your you know your rankings? Is this mm -hmm. one of your favorites? Least favorites? And what do you think of Zombie Jason? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not so sure about it myself, but whatever. You, you almost said it. You thought he was going to be a zombie Jason last time. At yeah, five, I did. When he woke up and you're like, oh, he's a zombie Jason. That, that was just a dream. Mm -hmm. And then they did the whole, basically the same scene again. Yeah. But actually brought him back this time. So I'm so that, that good. I just knew he was going to be a zombie <laughs> at some point. All right. Anything else? <laughs> no. Like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. We're going to keep watching the next 85 of these. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. The link's down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. I don't want to watch it happen. Oh, yeah. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another Friday the 13th. And we're watching this on Friday the 13th. We are. We saved it just to watch it on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, part 7. I bet this is the best one.
Well, this is a lot of people consider their favorites. <laughs> sure, sure. A lot of people also consider this the last of the decent ones. How many more are there? We're on seven. We're watching that. We got eight, nine, ten, and then Freddy vs. Jason. Why do they keep making these, though? Or Freddy vs. Jason, then ten. Why do they keep making these? Because they're awesome. It's just a lot. It's a I lot mean, you of just them. got a new shirt because you love them so much. Yeah, that's why I got this shirt. I love it so much I had to have it. No, we saw it at Hot Topic. Mm -hmm. Saw it at Hot Topic and was like, uh, that would be amazing to wear that while we watched Friday the 13th. Had your name written all over it. On Friday the 13th. All right. So what happened last time on Friday the 13th? To be honest, I don't remember. Is that the one that just dropped on YouTube today? Yeah, yeah it was. Oh, okay. So... Uh, zombie Jason <laughs> happened. Yeah. Which I can understand why some, I guess I understand why some people like that one. Because. It's my favorite. Zombie Jason is like a totally new character, sort of. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm assuming it's zombie Jason still, because it'd be weird if Jason just well, came back to life. How was he defeated? How did Tommy defeat him? Do you remember what happened at the very end? Nope. They're in the lake. Oh, he, dr oh, he burned him in the, no, he drowned him in the lake. Oh, he... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. He tied him up in, like, with a big heavy chain. And a rock. And a rock, and he's in the bottom of the lake. He's anchored to the bottom of Crystal Lake. So he's still alive. He's just alive in the lake. Or Lake Forest Green, as it's called. Right, something like that. Right. That's why I had to get rid of the Crystal Lake shirt. Had to move on to the Friday the 13th shirt. Uh, yeah. Why, because he's at the bottom of the lake? Or because they changed the name? Because the name changed the name of the lake. There is no longer Crystal Lake. Any guesses for what happens in this one? Uh, somebody gets killed by Jason in the water. He breaks loose from the rock. I, so many different things. Obviously, Jason gets loose. All right. Or something like well, should that. Should we jump in and find out? <laughs> I think we have to, yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Watching Friday the 13th. Every single one of them. Not because I like them. Just because you She do. loves them. <laughs> and check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, and access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Check it out. The link's down below. Let's watch another Friday the 13th, Part 7. Let's do it. There's a legend around here. A killer buried, but not dead. A curse on Crystal Lake. Get to relive all of these. That was a good one. I don't remember that one. The first person knife camera? People forget. He's down there. Waiting. One more reason I don't go in lakes. Because <laughs> Jason's down there waiting. <laughs> Never know. The New Blood. What was the other one? New Beginning. Part 5 was a new beginning. New Blood. Definitely some new sounds. Yeah. This is the first Jason film starring Kane Hodder as Jason. Hmm. And he actually plays Jason the most. Oh, Kane Hodder. can't really jam to this. He's probably so bored down there. Look, I can sell this place and get the hell out. Tina? Hey, leave her out of this. Tina, don't drink anymore. Don't tell me what to do. Huh? Wait, Tina! Is that Tommy? Sadly, that's the last we see of Tommy in the last film. Oh, bummer. You didn't want him to die. You shouldn't have killed him with your telekinesis. Oh no. <gasps> Tina, honey, are you all right? I'm fine. Hope you, Tina. You're 
hate to see you go back to the hospital. I guess you're right. By the way, they renamed it Crystal Lake. They turned it back to Crystal Lake? Hmm. Because changing the name didn't help. Is that a continuity error? Probably. Did you have a good trip? Oh, it was a very nice drive. Hi, Tina. How are you? You're going to make her relive her biggest childhood trauma? It's a great idea. Oh. Here, uh, let me help. No, that's all right. I no, really, here. No, really. No, it's, it's no problem. Thanks. Here. Thanks. You've been a great help. I don't know what I would have done without you. Great. What a that was really nice. He grabbed all her undies, though. Yeah, though that's what fell out. It's not his fault. If they're clean, it shouldn't be that embarrassing. Is that really necessary? With the camera? I just want to keep track of our progress, all right? He's making a movie. I'm gonna sell it to Hollywood. You're not trying, Tina. Yes, I am. Think about it moving. She's not Matilda. She has not harnessed this yet. Concentrate, Dina! Oh, um... What did you do? She thought of killing you. Now we're back to normal Friday the 13th material. Why are we sleeping in the van? Because we're sleeping. <laughs> they weren't sleeping. Sorry, Daddy. I'm so sorry. I wish I could bring you back. Daddy? He's not your daddy. He's not your daddy. Oh, no. Ooh. He's been down there for a while. That doesn't look good. When's the last time you put oil in that thing? Yesterday. Was it the right kind? There's different kinds of oil? Could have been the wrong kind. Vegetable. What are you talking about? This is supposed to be a surprise party for your birthday. I got this great cabin and everything. Never mind, the whole thing's ruined. Happy birthday. Surprises are overrated. Not surprise six. <laughs> We're doing something here? Oh, sorry. Okay. Birthday. It's gonna be a great birthday. Promise. Five miles. They're both gonna die. That's... Unfortunate. Happy birthday. Which one dies first? He or she? <laughs> she. Uh, well, she died first. Yeah. Jane? She's not gonna be happy about that. You could pee while walking. Pee while walking? If you walked backwards, could you effectively pee while walking? Probably. W what? Why are you asking that question? You just could have saved him a lot of time, you know? <laughs> Happy birthday. What do you think of Starlacon? 30,000 years into the future. The entire galaxy is populated by highly evolved protozoa. Good, huh? Only one human being and his woman still exist amongst the stars. Santana, but believe me, everybody else here, perfectly normal. <laughs> I left it at home, and he goes, you have to go and get it. So I go, okay, and I go. Is that a Baby Bell cheese t-shirt? <laughs> Those are Baby Bell cows. <laughs> That's unique. 
They're all drinking Slice. Do you remember Slice? Whatever happened to Slice? I was just thinking about that. Like, that sounds familiar. Orange flavored. Yeah. I there don't... was like lemon lime and stuff like that. Too. I don't remember it very well. I'm. You are the perfect daughter. And he gives me these and says, To the best little girl in the <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Telekinesis and clairvoyance? Premonitions. Not premonitions, she just watched it already happened. Interesting. You're creating images of your father. No, all right. Well, he left a large delusion stuck in our back porch. Why don't you just go look if you don't believe me? All right, okay. where are It's gone. Why don't we crawl in the sack? Why don't you fix the fire? There's no wood. We're in a forest. You chop a tree down with a machete? <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Depends how sharp it is. How big the tree. Yeah. Tiny little tree. These just unrelated people out in the woods. Mm -hmm. People love camping at Crystal Lake. So majestic. That guy died quick. Mm hmm. Just punched a rat through him. Barely even meeting these characters, and <laughs> they're dying. Not Dan. Dan, what are you doing? <laughs> Where's he taking her? Oh, jeez. <laughs> A new one. <laughs> Smack her with sleep bag into the cheery tree. This guy's horrible at skipping rocks. <laughs> I um, I saw it. It's a big pink elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Big peak elephant. Good one. Have you seen Nick? He's around. Dip. She's like that with everybody, except boys. Robin, did you see the way David just looked at me? Oh, get real, Maddie. You're not his type. You need a little touch-up work first. Thanks. Girl, you're fine. Hey, Tina. Isn't this the way the weather Jack is back in the mental hospital? <laughs> Oh, you better watch out. <laughs> it was a fake anyways. She got that because she was the perfect daughter, too. <laughs> I can't just leave now. It's just not working. You want to throw this all away? I mean, we're at a very critical point right now. That's what you're doing to us. Better stop yelling at her. Yeah. Just throw something bigger next time. Man, when I was younger... I watched Matilda. I could have sworn I had telekinesis. Did you ever have moments like that where you're like, I swear if I focus hard enough, I will probably move that. Yeah, with my I mind. pretend I have telekinesis too when I open automatic doors. <laughs> Tina, pack your things. We're going to leave in the morning. Oh, mom's got a little rat tail. Did you see that? <laughs> Her hair kind of comes to a little rat tail. Man, I love the 80s. Don't you miss those days? I had a rat tail once. You do like the grossest things with your hair and it was cool. Rat tails, mullets. <laughs> Look, Love it. Bulge in your pants is calling out my name. Sandra, Sandra, take me now. You coming? What are you doing? Come on. No, don't go in there. 
Russell, party for two right this way, please. Oh no. You, me, the boobies? <laughs> oh, golly. It was really deep right there. It sure was. <laughs> what I like about you... What? You hardly sweat at all. <laughs> you hardly sweat at all. <laughs> She's taking her. Just gonna make a pile of them. Start throwing them through windows. It's usually how he rolls. All is fair in love and war. Melissa, I don't even like you. <laughs> Mark has nothing to do with it. I know. I don't even like you. We've got to get to know each other better. <laughs> make the guy that doesn't even like you I jealous. Know, I know. <laughs> He's like, oh, they got a dip. He loves guacamole. He took it. Big fat liar. What a butthead. You really think I'm cute? Of course I do. No, she doesn't think you're cute. Turn the light on. Who goes into a room in the dark? <laughs> Maybe she's trying to be sneaky. Now what's he gonna do? I don't know. They got a lot of those. A lot of campers. They're tent spikes. Oh. You have deliberately turned my daughter into an emotional wreck. Yeah, experimenting. She's dangerous to herself. She's dangerous to all of us. How can you say that? She She's only dangerous if you piss her off. Don't piss her off. Not dangerous. Tana, no! She doesn't even have her driver's license yet. Now that was a premonition. Yeah. Look at her. Three hours later. <laughs> Takes some of us longer, okay? <laughs> Need a little touch-up work my ass. You literally just did touch-up work. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my earring. She got a lot of volume out of that hair. <laughs> Ooh. That face makeup, so freaking good. I mean, that was probably like a dummy, but man. Oh, well, yeah, the makeup. So good. There is nothing quite like good practical effects, right? I did not think I would be that, that kind of person. Like, I really appreciate it. Oh no. Ugh. He's using a lot of garden tools this this movie. Mm-hmm. She's just like, I can sense kids having sex. He hates it when they do that. Yeah, it's kinda like his spidey sense. Quick, get a balloon. Yeah, right. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> I'm going out there. Come on, I'm up out there. She's naked. It's cold out there. Ben, are you coming back or not? Probably not. Not with Jason out there. I don't want to watch it happen. Oh, good. Crunch. Michael? I'm talking to you. Stop screwing around. Ah! 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 
Eddie. Eddie. Happy birthday, Mike. I was kind of hoping Nick would come back and find you with me. Why'd you lie? Because she's a bitch. No boobies. More boobies. <laughs> Never ends with these movies. Hey, there's no boobies in the last one. That's true. The only one so far with no boobies in it. <laughs> Knock knock. Anyone home? Oh. Jeez. It's dark. <laughs> Fell out of the bed because it's dark. You've never done that before? I don't think so. Usually I can find the edge of the bed in the dark. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. He's really gross looking. Maddie? What was he doing? <laughs> Like a metal detector, like testing for radiation. Like, what's happening? It's a personal penis enlarger. <laughs> Is that what it said? <laughs> That's funny. Tina, I want to get everybody together so we can get the hell out of here. Too late. So change your mind or what? Melissa? <laughs> It's like impossible not to look at boobs. I know. When they're in front of you, like you cannot not look at boobs. I don't know what the deal is there. It's so weird. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not looking good for you, hun. I swear I saw like a reflection in the glass of somebody like this. Yeah. David? Right there. Maybe it's like a boom operator or something. Kitty are you, huh? David doesn't have a kitty. Jason does. Just kidding. I don't know if Jason does or not. She okay? Yeah, she'll probably be fine. Now where's he going? Find her mom. <gasps> you gotta love that Jason has no sense of urgency. He's just like, I'll get you, don't worry. Run away if you want. I'll find you. Slow and steady wins the race. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. No! 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 Classy. Shove the woman in front of the knife. Not very gentlemanlike. She was supposed to stay right there. Maybe when she went to find a comfier seat. Where's Gino? The psych board. How should I know? I can't believe Melissa's still alive. I know, right? She should have been the first to die. Tina! Mother! Tina, don't go in there! Tina! Why didn't he kill him? Jason's always wanted to open a lawn care company. <laughs> Oh. 
that, that wasn't just a little off the top. Have we seen him kill with a machine before? I don't think so. I think it's the first motorized kill. Yeah. Hey, is that you? Hey, hey. He's collecting the girls. Oh, that face is so good. So gross. Electricity that brought him to life, though. Electricity's not gonna kill a zombie. Maybe that's the only thing that can kill him. Considering there's like eight more of these movies, I'm guessing not, but whatever. Don't get too close. I forgot to say, oh yeah, after he jumped through the window. Nice. Oh yeah! With the Kool-Aid man? Oh. That'll stop him. That's headbutt. Again, he's a zombie. You can't kill him like that. I killed him. No, you didn't. Jason's dead. No, he's not. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going back to bed. It's her time. Oh, now, f you both. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> Poorly designed stairs. No center brace at all. <laughs> One ugly mother fucker. Nick? Did she like my predator reference? Is it good enough? Mm -hmm. so, oh. He's already dead. I really thought nails would have killed him. <laughs> this might work. Nick thought he smelled bacon. Yeah. It smells kind of weird in here. Stop, yeah, stop, drop, drop, and roll. <laughs> stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> All right, who left the gas on? Was, was there natural gas in this house? Because otherwise, how would it have blown up? 
It's all gone. Mm. Fingers crossed. Let's get out of here. Way to go, Daddy. Did she just bring her dad back to life to take Jason? Yeah. Looks like it. Jason. Where's Jason? We took care of him. <laughs> All right. Jason was taken care of. Is he back at the bottom of the lake? The bottom of the lake for now. His dad, her dad, just holding on to him. At the bottom of the lake. Yeah, probably. It's just a big bear hug. They don't recover bodies from Crystal Lake, so if somebody dies in the lake. It's just there. It's just there. Yeah. Right. Part seven, the new blood. What'd you think? Not bad. Not bad. You like the whole telekinesis, Tina's powers versus Jason? Yeah, I kind of did. Yeah, I also didn't find it as campy. As, some As of the them? last one, yeah. yeah, the last one was kind of like, uh, like the last three, or kind of campy, the last yeah. three or four maybe. This one kind of took itself seriously, even it, though it, it was. Did, even though it was, yeah, it did take itself seriously though, even though it wasn't. Uh, it was super net, more supernatural than right. the last ones. Exactly. Yeah. Well, he used a lot of weapons in this one. Every sure tool from the garden tools, shed. Yeah. Right? A couple weapons twice, like he used the axe twice. I think he used the spike twice. Well, they're running out of things, yeah. you know. Only used the machete once. I'm waiting for him to, you know, use a book. Actually, he didn't even use the machete for a kill. He opened the tent and then smacked her against the tree with the oh, sleeping yeah. bag. That That's the only time he used the machete. That was a pretty cool kill. <laughs> Speaking of cool kills, which one was your favorite? It's got to be the axe to the face, right? Yeah. Just because the, the... the practical effects for that one were so cool. Yeah, I liked that one a lot. And then the, the tree smacking one. <laughs> sleeping bag kill? Yeah, it's I think pretty funny. One of the... The franchise's best. A lot of people t consider that one of the best kills. Yeah. Well, you get to like watch it happen, but it's not gory. It's just, just like, brutal. oh god. <laughs> yeah. So do you think Jason's? Oh, he's still there. He'll still be there? back, obviously. What do you think of uh, his uh, the version of Jason in this one? Uh, gross. He's all decomposed. He's Definitely been at the bottom of the lake for a while. More like a creature now, less like a yeah. person. Last time he kind of looked more. I mean, just kind of like, just risen from the dead. Now he looks yeah. like he's been, like the water's been, you can see his spine yeah, sticking out his back, like his bones and his legs and all that stuff, and yeah. his chest. What do you think of his face? Disgusting. Looked like a warthog mixed with a good... Well, did you see all the details of all of his past facial wounds? Yeah, there? I saw... Because you can see where Tommy here. chopped him, yeah. and then his the wound from when he fell on the machete in part four. Sure. And then... The, uh, I didn't pick up on all of them. Not all his, of them. His mouth, that's where the uh, propeller from the last movie got him. Mm -hmm. It was right there on the side of the mouth. So I didn't pick up on all of them. I think the coolest effect is probably when she's squishing the mask on his head and he's starting to ooze. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> what else is on your mind? You get anything else? Gross zit or yeah. something. <laughs> no, I, I kind of liked this one, which was... Yeah. Weird. Is this your favorite of the ones we've I, watched? No, I think number two is still my favorite. Okay. Yeah, number one or number two. But this one was better than, I think, the last. I like it much better than number three. Okay. I don't remember number four. With Corey Feldman. Oh, yeah, that one was, okay. Better than three and five and six. Okay. I think. All right. So maybe, like. One, two, seven, four, three, five, six. Okay. Six at the bottom? No, no, okay. One, two, seven, one, two, seven, four, six. What what numbers are left? Three and five. <laughs> five is Roy. Five, three. Five, three. I hate three, three so much. Why did you much? hate three so much? Because it's just so stupid. And like, let's go to town to find these bad guys to bring them 
back to the barn. The gang. Like, I just yeah. still can't get over that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Everybody's got their own it's rankings. True, for it's Friday true. It's true. Everybody likes something different. I kind of love that about the, these movies. Yeah. Like everybody's favorite movie is something different for different reasons. No ranking is wrong because everybody likes them. For I mean, there's you think after seven you they'd get repetitive, but they really kind of do have unique aspects to each, each and every one of them. I still don't like most of four. Really? Like the Corey Feldman part of it is okay, but. Crispin Glover part of it so bad. Right? What is dancing? Like the they find or just the, the, all the teens hanging out. Random the twins. random twins. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I still don't like four. Oh, okay. Well, seven's in your top three or top four. Top three, maybe. Okay. Maybe my top three. All right. Well, there you go. What should people comment on? Favorite kill, favorite as kill. always. Favorite kill and. Uh, where's this rank? Yeah, where's your it, favorites where's it going or least favorites, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to watch the next one probably pretty soon. In the next two weeks. So don't miss out on that. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, and access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. First day as captain, he's already sinking a boat. At least with all that water, it put out the fire. It's like the Titanic all over again. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another Friday the 13th. Ooh. Boy. Part eight. Is this the last one? No, it's not. <laughs> right. Not even close. <laughs> oh shoot! But uh, this is a fun one. It's a fun one. Sure. That's yeah. how he's starting it. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. Super yeah. awesome time. That's how he's starting it. It's a fun one. Super awesome time. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in part seven? Do you remember where we left off? Telekinesis girl. Yeah. Right. I, and I only remember this because I was just watching you edit it. Yeah. Um, telekinesis girl. Brought Jason back to life out of the, the lake, and then it happened, and he she ended up putting him back in there. Well, her okay. her dad, technically. Her dad helped. Yeah. Right? Her dead dad, yeah. Well, what's going to happen in this one? What's your predictions? Uh, Probably not telekinesis this time, but somebody, I don't know, decides to dredge the lake. Yeah, they drain the lake and find Jason. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then he's back at it again. All right, well, should we... Ugly face yeah he's pretty ugly mm-hmm. a face only a mother could love not even that probably. she killed for him <laughs> well should we jump in and find out what this one's all about might as well let's do it but first like comment and subscribe we're watching more of these yep and check out our patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos full in commentaries access to polls to help us pick what we watch next and more links down below check it out let's watch friday the 13th part 8 land of steel and concrete trapped by dark waters we're not at crystal lake why the hell am i wearing this shirt <laughs> come to thrive on it and each other he's like wear your crystal lake shirt they na- they changed the name of the lake back it's fine we're in new york now <laughs> oh he came in through the sewers it's a long way from crystal lake Actually, where was Crystal Lake? Like up New Jersey. Upstate? Oh, New Jersey. Okay. Hey. There's Crystal Lake. Somebody bought themselves a houseboat. Mm-hmm. Hair. That hair. You mean the boobies? <laughs> it's happening again. You mean the booties too? Gotta throw the anchor on. Ooh, boy. It's gonna electrocute Jason alive again. Now, somewhere at the bottom of this lake, if you believe the stories, there was this boy named Jason Voorhees. Drowned in Crystal Lake about 30 years ago. He didn't look like that. 
<laughs> That's what he looks like in that kid's head. Forget about it, Susie. They're just stories. Is that Tina's dad? Oh, no, it was Jason. Uh oh. That's not good. Gets to his regular fingers. He's not a zombie anymore? Maybe he's healed a little bit. All that time in the water was great for his skin? Is that what you... Moisturizing. No. Nope. Stop screwing around, Jim. I mean it. I think that's natural curl or a perm. Mm, kind of looks like a wet curl. I'm not the hair expert, though. <laughs> no, you're not. What a d Not funny. I feel like someone is about to get penetrated. <laughs> Classy. Uh oh. He missed. He missed. Not like Jason to miss. Oh no. <laughs> I I always think just maybe he's not gonna kill one of them. Like <laughs> He took his time with that one. <laughs> like maybe he's just gonna like take a girlfriend or something, no. right? No. He always kills him. Well Toby's been awful quiet back there. Yeah, I guess he's a little nervous about the trip. It's a cute dog. Better be a pocket knife. Ooh. Stephen King supposedly used it in high school. Sharp enough to stab. It will kill. <laughs> Jason's driving that thing. He's like, I'm tired of Crystal Lake. <laughs> Gonna tootle around somewhere else now. They probably decided to explore each other rather than New York. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone else coming too. That dog's not a student. Oh, they have a history, or...? <laughs> and I know what's best for her. End of discussion. What's up this guy's butt? I think that's test Relinquishing sir. command of the motor vessel Lazarus to Captain Sean Robertson. What? Have you decided on a plan of departure, Captain? Somehow I don't feel like the first mate would just be like, Okay, I guess you're the new captain. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wearing any sort of uniform. <laughs> what kind of boat are they on that has an admiral, too? <laughs> Forgetting something, mister? Send out the international maritime signal. Followed by a security broadcast warning other ships that we are underway. Well, you're the idiot that put him as a captain. He's clearly <laughs> never done this before. <laughs> Way to embarrass him, Dad. He hasn't even gone to ship school yet, right? Like, he doesn't know the rules. Oh, he does have skin now. That's weird. This voyage is doomed. <laughs> is his name Ralph? <laughs> yeah, it's Ralph Jr. Could be. <laughs> his son. Brittany. Hi, Sean. I heard you weren't coming. Well, I'm a dog. I go where my master goes. <laughs> Mr. Robertson, 
Your father was looking for you. Uh, his, he's Captain Robertson now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. If Miss Van Dusen knew how afraid you were of... She didn't push me into this. She's afraid of water or boats. Don't you think it's time I found out and got over it? I'm afraid of New York? It's a scary city. I assume. I've never been. <laughs> How did he... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some personal experiences to fuel our minds. So sweet. <laughs> sweet puppy. Still wet. Must be waterlogged, right? Or he's just really sweaty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just letting him hit him right in the freaking face. Doing nothing about it. Just taking it right in the face. Julius is the only senior I'd even consider doing it with. I thought this was a graduation party. Aren't they all seniors? <laughs> Maybe she's into older guys. I think it's time for some recreational activity, girl. She brought her marble bag. Maybe it was Pogs. This was too early for Pogs. This is early 90s. This is, like this is the early turn 90s? of the decade right here. Might be 89 or 90. I feel like Pogs really came into their own and like. 96, 97, maybe? No thanks. Hope that's not heroin. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Are you... girls using drugs? Do you think I would use drugs, Mr. McCall? Checking their makeup. Oh no. I guess I need to work on my left-right-left -left combo. Or just not get hit in the face. Right. Just maybe put them up in front of your face. Oh, jeez. Got stoned to death. That was very, like, Indiana Jones-like. The... Kalima? <laughs> I think the boat was stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swim. Should probably be wearing a life jacket, huh? How come there's no rails on that ship? Come back, and you're all gonna die. Crazy Ralph. You're all doomed. Ooh, uh oh. A little bit too much of like a Freddy light crossover happening right now. Yeah. Not enjoying it. I'm in no mood for any more of your stall tactics, Miss Mason. Where is your final project? Wouldn't you like a oh, glass of champagne first drop? You're not uh, stepping off the ship until we return home. But I haven't even shown you my final oh, no. project. What do you think you're doing? I mean, she's showing him his her biology project. I mean, really? Take a closer look, Charles. I want to make sure I've labeled all my organs correctly. No, oh, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Get anything good? Blackmail. So, let's be sure to get together later. Okay? Yeah, I just thought. Yeah. 
but I, maybe we could... They're doing a really good job of making her unlikable. <laughs> I don't know if you have to worry about her for much longer. All right. Twinkie time. I'll let this one breathe maybe a little too long. Oh. Oh. They gotta stop blowing that horn every time somebody screams. Nobody's gonna hear the screams. How old's your boy now, Carlson? 19 months. Take some advice. Don't push him too hard. Yeah. Take the helm, would you, Jim? Certainly, sir. Man, he's really taking his son not wanting to drive that boat personal. <laughs> uh oh. We got another captain on the ship, huh? Yes, a killer walks this ship, all right. And it's certainly none of us. You what are you, what are you doing? You're the one who's insane. These, like, the kids that went to camp with Jason. Yeah. Where's Rennie? She's dropping the anchors. Because she just knows how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at her funny. It's because he knows her. Do you think dropping an anchor in the middle of a storm makes any sense whatsoever? I don't know what makes sense on a boat. Do you? I don't know. Yeah, you probably don't want to drop the anchor if the waters are rough. Right? Just shred the ship. Uh -oh. Why are you spinning? That doesn't make any sense. Stop it. She's supposed to be pushing those doors. What? Why is she looking around like there's two of them? He's killing him slow, this, this movie. Yeah, he's like really enjoying himself. Yeah. Oh, great. Not Jason, probably one of your friends. Oops. Caught on fire? <laughs> That's a different one. Well, he probably had some camera grease in his pocket or something. <laughs> That's not good. Somebody gonna come put him out or Uh oh. Oh shoot. Worked. We're back on course. Good. Oh. Pushed a few buttons. Back on course. 
setting off a fire alarm causes panic. The same kind of panic caused by suggesting that Jason Voorhees is alive and aboard this ship. Enough He's in for a shock. Yep. He's fast. Ooh, that's a bummer. I don't think the boat was stopped that time. Probably. Oh Pretty sure he's already lost that eye. Yeah. All right, listen, everybody. I want you to stay here until I get back with the others. All right? You understand? Yes. They're all gonna die. A lot of food on board for not having seen a cook or anything. He's sleeping. Somebody took a ladle. <laughs> yeah. Man, the first day as captain, he's already sinking a boat. At least with all that water, it put out the fire. It's like the Titanic all over again. Jason's heart will go on. We have to go. Oh, oh, wait! I left the others in the restaurant. There is no more restaurant. They all just got washed <laughs> out? <laughs> Great! He already jumped into the water. He's gonna take down the boat. You're going nowhere. Julius! Oh, good for him. There's somebody else on the boat, too. Toby, the dog. Oh, oh there he is. How did he get him? there? I don't know. He just showed up. He's just in the boat. The he, was whole in the, time. he was in the lifeboat. I've been waiting here for hours, guys. What took you so long? Parents are going to be pissed when the two teachers survive and all the kids died. <laughs> Row, row, row your boat. We're not starting that right now. No. Oh, okay. I hope you can find shore soon, Captain. We all don't want to drown out here. You're in a boat. Yeah, I don't want to. Not next to the ship that was sinking with the crazy Jason on it. Come on, man. I made it so can you, huh? Yeah, that poor guy was treading water for like 30 minutes, probably. He's got to be exhausted. They got him rowing the boat. Stupid teacher. He's exhausted from that makeout session. <laughs> hey, man. They made it to New York. <laughs> Check it out. Damn, we're in New York. <laughs> Jason's just been clinging to the bottom the whole time. <laughs> He's always wanted to go to the Big Apple. New York. New York. <laughs> He's pretty jolly for all of his friends just... Dying. There must be a phone around for someone. Wonderful choice of places to dock a boat, Mr. Robertson. Wonderful. So many options. Do you think he hitched a ride on the on the little boat, or do you think he just swims like a dolphin? He probably just walked across the bottom. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie style. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the weekend at Bernie's Tilt. 
<laughs> give me your money. Everyone, shut up and give them the money. Now! He still got his wallet? Nice. Didn't even take the necklace. <laughs> what an idiot. Thank him. Yeah, he just saved your life. He's a little offended that she just ran off without thanking him. This whole time he's just been trying to say hello. He just does it a little aggressively, you know. He doesn't know his own strike sometimes. Operator, this is an emergency. Give me the police. Don't hit him in the face mask. It's just gonna hurt your hand. He's undead. <laughs> Your best shot. The whole head? Wow. Mm -hmm. From downtown, made a basket. Great, they're sitting ducks, because those doors, you can't open from the inside. Oh. 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 What are you doing? She shouldn't be driving, she's under the influence. <laughs> Thankfully, everybody was wearing their seat belts. <laughs> Where's the teacher? Oh no. Bummer. That's why I never drive around with a full gas tank. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> huh? She is so high right now. <laughs> For real, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think the time has come for your first swimming lesson. You don't want to end up drowning like that boy, do you? Still in the bottom of this lake. Oh, super. Great. And he's ready to pull down anybody who falls in. What a dick. Let's find out. Better swim, ready. I'm sorry trying to teach you. You almost killed me. I was drowning. I pulled you out. I I saved your life. You son of a bitch. I almost killed you, but I saved your life. <laughs> what a dead. Power nap. Yeah, Jason's fast. He gets around. Uh, please, please, you. Uh. Gross. <laughs> She's just having a moment. She's still really high. Yeah. It just seems like everybody I care about. I lose. Oh, great. It's not bode well for him. <laughs> J 
Jason's got like boner radar or something. <laughs> Across the streams. Yeah, I don't understand how the electricity brings him back to life and kills him. Don't touch him. I mean, fibrillator can kill you and bring you back to life. Touche, sir. Touche. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, Jason's dead. Now they can celebrate Times Square. And Michael Scott's favorite pizza place. Sabaro. Over. Oh gosh, spoke too soon. It's never over. Oh, well, Jason's taking in the sides too. <laughs> Why doesn't somebody just chop his head off? Oh man. You a dead meat slime bag. Ooh. You don't understand. There is a maniac trying to kill us. Welcome to New York. There he is. Here's Johnny. Son of a bitch. That guy you just threw against the mirror plays Jason in another movie. Oh, really? Yeah. He's a big guy. Uh oh. Cowabunga, dudes. <laughs> can you help us get out of here? I sure can, but we don't got a minute to spare. What do you mean? Toxic waste, son. The sewer floods out with this stuff every night at midnight. It's less than ten minutes from now. Mm. Kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. What? Kitty. <laughs> so she's okay with the toxic waste thing? don't know how he has a face from the previous one, you know? I don't know. Run! Go faster! Gonna flush him back to Crystal Lake. Oh no, he's what the f what now? Did they actually? Was that actually a kit? What? <laughs> I 
feel like he deserves more than just a kiss on the cheek. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. That was like a little demon Benjamin button. Yes. <laughs> like not this one too. That was it? That's it. Oh boy. Toby was played by Ace. Doug killed it. He nailed that. He did. He did. All right. So Friday the 13th, part eight. Yep. Jason takes Manhattan. This is a weird one. What was weird about it? He took a boat to Manhattan and then turned into a little kid after getting hit by a uh, toxic waste. Yeah. Yep. That's the weird part about it. Oh, okay. Did he actually turn into a little kid or was that just her, like, visualizing? Was it all? I don't see. I, you never I think know. the best never... interpretation of it, because there's another Friday the 13th after this, is that was just her, because she's been seeing Kid Jason the whole right. time. The last time you see him, like, melting from the toxic waste, just imagine he was probably just swept away, right? Of course. Yeah. They seem to always kill him, and yet he always seems to come back. So, yeah, the ending of this one's kind of weird. Yeah. So what'd you think, other than the weird toxic waste ending? Uh, not the worst one. Not the, really? not the worst one. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm maybe just like leaning into how horrible they are. So it's like, all right. I mean, this could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Silver lining, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you got to watch them. Might as well try to enjoy them as much as possible. Got to. Right? Yeah. A lot of people consider this the worst of... Oh, really? The first eight, at least. Huh. I still hate uh, three more. Or, but... I mean, it kind of goes between five and eight. As a lot of people don't really like the Roy one because Jason's not the killer. Sure. Mainly because it's called Takes Manhattan and it only takes place in Manhattan for like, for like a minute, like the yeah. t- last twenty minutes of the film. <laughs> when you see the title, you're like, "Oh, Jason's gonna go to New York and just kill a bunch of people." Right? Doesn't happen. No, he just kind of gets. He only wants to kill the, the people the, on the boat. The that were, that were, yeah. yeah, from yeah. Crystal Lake or something. So, so, what was your favorite kill in this one? Hmm, favorite kill. I don't know. They weren't there weren't that many like amazing kills. Practical effects weren't really a big thing in this one. Yeah, I think most of the practical effects were used for the final scene when Jason's melted. Yeah, exactly. Well, what axe in a back in the back or something? The boxing match. Knocking his head oh, off. Oh, yeah, well, that's probably the best kill, I guess. Yeah. Just punched him right in the head and his whole head flew off. <laughs> he also used a a different kind of axe in this one. A fire axe? No. A guitar. Oh. <laughs> yes, you did. There was also another aspect of Jason's powers in this that I think you were noticing. What's that? In past movies, it was kind of implied Jason can teleport. Oh, super fast. Not just super. I mean, he can just teleport. Yeah. I mean, that weird in the dance, like, yeah, how is he made it look like there was two of him? Because mm-hmm, he was teleporting, teleporting around. Hmm. That's why in some of the past films, it seems like he was really fast, but... He's just a teleporter? I think they kind of... Weird. Built on that in this one a little bit more. Okay. If you've ever played the Friday the 13th game, he actually has powers like that where he can... He can teleport? Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So many amazing things. Mm-hmm. So favorite kill, you think, is the... What, what's the, your guys' favorite the kill? head off? Yeah. What's your favorite kill? Yeah, unfortunately, this one doesn't really have that good of kills other than, you know... Knocking nope. the head off. and nope. Favorite character? Favorite character from this film? Toby. Toby, obviously. Still trying to figure out how he got on the lifeboat, but it, hey, we'll take it. He was just waiting there, I think. You think he was in the lifeboat the yeah. whole time? Yep, he so was hiding lowered, in He's the like, lifeboat. where have you guys been? I've been ready to go the whole time. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. What's your favorite kill in Friday the 13th Part 8, Man- Jason Takes Manhattan? Mm-hmm. And where does this stack up in your uh, rankings of the Friday the 13th movies? Right? Yep. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. We're going to keep finishing up these Jason movies. Got a couple more. Can't wait. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.
smelling my pod. Oh, your pod looks pretty good from here. <laughs> More than boobies in this one. <laughs> you mean the wieners doesn't roll off the tongue? Sure doesn't, no. Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies! And it's time for one last Friday the 13th movie before Freddy vs. Jason. All right. The final Friday. The final Friday. Is that what it's called? Jason Goes to Hell. The final Friday. No Friday the 13th in the title. Just Jason Goes to Hell. Mm Mm-hmm. Great. This is when New Line Cinema took over the franchise, and they didn't have the rights to the name Friday the 13th. Oh. But they had the rights to the character Jason. All the New Line movies don't feature the Friday the 13th title. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so is this going to be like Freddy then? Because with the hell situation all the time, like we're just going to be in hell now? Um, this one's weird, but it's not... Great. Oh. I love it when they're really weird. I'll let you be the judge of if this is more Freddy than Friday the 13th, though. Right? All right. But thematically, right? Are you ready to check out the uh, final Friday? Yeah. Why the hell not? Let's do it. All right. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out. This is the last Jason movie, I guess. Not the last Jason movie. Just the oh, last. Just... It's the final Friday. Right? Right. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Links down below. Check it out. Let's watch Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday. Crystal Lake, here we go. Is that Kimberly Williams Paisley? Is that like Brad Paisley's wife? I have no idea. The father of the bride girl? Maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell what the hat on. Rude. It, like, wasn't dark two minutes ago, and now it's dark. Sunset's fast. Not the chick I thought it was. I was way off. No, oh, jeez. Alright. Oh, shoot. Come on, Jason, put, turn the lights back on. Welcome on back. You mean the boobies. I believe I saw a nipple. <laughs> Maybe somebody's like throwing her surprise party. <gasps> nope, nope, nope. Now oh, got it. She managed to keep her robe on. Way to go. Duke's a hazard, that. She looks rough. Yeah, you just got splashed with toxic waste. Remember? Mm. His head looks more like bulbousy, like like swollen. She's running real fast with just a towel on. Yeah, I would have lost a towel like half a mile ago. Yeah, no way that towel is staying on without a bo- like some sort of pin or. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh. I thought this was like some sort of movie set or something. Not Jason. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Good shooting, Mahoney. Now clean up all this. Shit. <laughs> Is 
Hmm. But I mean, it explains why she was like so athletic. She was undercover. Yeah. ID, please. That's Kane Hodder right there. That guy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, sir. They check him, but not the body. Like, what's he gonna take in there that the body couldn't take in there? The music's really different. It sounds so weird. Oh. Ooh, still smoking. Harry's back doing the music, though. In my professional opinion, this guy's dead and <laughs> Great. He's so gonna just put himself back together now. What the f Yeah, I don't like barbecue sauce that much either. All right, so Black Jason. All right, Black Jason. Different. You're not on the list. <laughs> totally inconspicuous. two words to you, Mr. Duke, and I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? You ready? Shoot. Jason Voorhees. Well, that makes me think of a little girl in a pink dress sticking a hot dog through a donut. Well, I was actually... What? They look stupid. Well, it's your own dumbass fault. They're supposed to look like hockey men. Now watch. This makes a whole new patty. Hence, the two for one burger sale. God, I love this woman. Hold me back. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Jason Voorhees. I need you to help me. Jason Voorhees is dead. You know he's not. I know he's not. And he's coming for you. What do you want? You know what I want. And you know why I need you. He's like his sister or something? You're talking about. Well, now, see, she is only your lady because... She ain't had a taste of the Duke yet. Careful, careful, Chief. He's coming for you, Diana. And your daughter. Lock your doors. Uh -huh. Who is Diana, really? Jason's sister? I mean, he did not impregnate somebody. He was 11 when he died. And he's been killing people since. Not having intercourse with them, so... Planning on smoking a little dope, having a little premarital sex, and getting slaughtered? What now? <laughs> well, now that Jason's dead, we're thinking yeah. about smoking some dope, having a little premarital sex, and uh, not worry about getting slaughtered. Ah, to be young again. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Hey, we just met two seconds ago, but come with us. <laughs> and we're thinking of going skinny dipping later. Oh, God. I forgot my bathing suit. You don't know what you're missing. There's swings and she misses. Mm -hmm. 
You, me, the boobies. Shrink my pod. Oh, your pod looks pretty good from here. <laughs> well, more than boobies in this one. <laughs> you, me, and the wieners doesn't roll off the tongue. Sure either. doesn't, no. You, me, and the weenie does, okay? Alright. Go, 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 have sex in my tent. That's weird. Did now bring another tent for three tent of them? Tent for the three of them. She just likes to watch and listen, huh? Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> she doesn't have a pillow, though. Oh, man. She forgot to pee. Hopefully she can pee while walking. <laughs> Backwards. She absolutely could pee while walking and just go all over her legs. <laughs> that ankle she would have peed all over her panties. Like <laughs> She went really fast too. Yeah. Oh god, Debbie, I hate these things. Oh good, let him peer pressure you into unsafe sex. Awesome. That's not how babies are made or anything. So many boobies. <laughs> how to get outside? Probably drop the second one or something. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're watching the unrated version. <laughs> that was unique. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I haven't had gore like that in one of these movies for a while. Not in a while. Was she like feeding Jason or something? A little pet back there? Mango. Oh, good, a dog. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sweetheart, dear. There you are. Yeah. Enjoy some Jason burgers. Jeez. Oh, God. Oh, this is new. See a barber in a previous life or something? Oh god, that's the goriest thing I've seen all week. Shaving his mustache. No! I'm confused. <laughs> Why are we shaving people's faces just to eat them? Hi. Guess what? What? I have a new boyfriend. You'll never guess who. A little young for you. To be a surprise. Ah, someone I know. No, but oh. you'll recognize him. So, and, you know, I don't want to see him when I'm home. They can see the baby if you Is want. Jason turning other people into Jasons by eating them? Remember what Duke Creighton said? No, Mom? I don't. He wears bodies like other people wear suits. Oh. How's she gonna explain that? Also, if he can wear other bodies, why the hell was he wearing that creepy ass body the last, I don't know, eight of these? <laughs> Uh, don't put it in her. Oh, good. Oh, good, oh, good, oh, good. What <laughs> was that f***ing tongue? Oh, bummer. I thought she was going to escape.
This looks pretty bad. <laughs> You're gonna have to stay cool, Stephen, because otherwise Landis is really gonna kill you, okay? You ever seen a guy that old wear a letterman's jacket? <laughs> He's really living in the past, you know? Can't escape his glory days. Crystal Lake High School star quarterback. <laughs> Steve. Steven. What's your price? I think you're too much of a coward to afford it. Five hundred thousand dollars. What's the price? Are you ready to pay? He's gonna like sell his soul to send Jason to hell. It's gonna break his soul. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the only way to kill Jason Voorhees is to destroy his heart. With a broken hand? Only one person can do that now that Diana's dead. You want information? You gotta pay. You're gonna break his hand again? Why? How's this payment? You ready to pay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> now see, that is a very, very expensive question, boy. Oh, Jesus. Tell me. He's got three more good fingers still. He's got a whole nother hand, too. In a Voorhees was he born. Through a Voorhees may he be reborn. And only by the hands of a Voorhees will he die. Jason had a sister. Your girlfriend's mother, Diana. It broke my finger! Jesus! Let me take a look, okay? Here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm hurt too. And not just financially. What the f is that? <laughs> hi, buddy. Hey, hey, ho. Let me do it. Oh. <laughs> I'll come back and check on you. Make sure you're okay. This is gonna leave the kid sitting in a box. On a counter. <laughs> <laughs> totally safe. Get out. Maybe a like guard my baby with your life would have been appropriate. Looks like the Hocus Pocus book. <laughs> it's actually smaller the, version. It's the Necronomicon Ex Mortis from the Evil Dead. You know what we're going for here? Twisted secrets of the Voorhees house revealed. Oh, and also, one more thing. What? This guy. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. This one's weird. <laughs> oh boy. Just can't stop with the boobs, right? Like, they just have to. I don't mind. Of course you don't. Robert? Like, loudest steps ever. Like, very clearly she's, like, tiptoeing around, and yet you can still hear the big, deep bass hits of the steps. Yeah. Sound design. It's not great. <gasps> Why does she have blood? I don't know. Ah! You scared the hell out of me! Where have you been? 
Don't let him. Don't. Get away from her. Oh, also, it's nighttime, and where's the baby? We're still with the other lady. Well, that's not gonna do anything. At this point, he likes being run over. Let's go get the baby. You're safe now. Don't worry. Notify all the units on Lake Road. I want that. Her hair does exactly what my hair does after you get it wet and no, don't touch it. <laughs> right? It just goes poof. You're still just laying there? Don't yeah. shoot! Don't shoot! Oh. Okay? You want me to cuff you? What makes you think you can? I got a gun. I got a gun. <laughs> find her. You find her. Wait. Yeah. Well, I will hear from you. Oh god, why is that so f***ing gross? <laughs> oh jeez. Again, he likes it when you shoot him. So. That's how he earned that Letterman's jacket. <laughs> He was part of like the shooting team. <laughs> Back when they still had those in high school. It's called trap shooting. Trap shooting team. Pookie, call the station. I'm doing it, baby. I'm doing it. Yeah, they're all dead. Stop! I mean it. Ooh. Ooh. So does Come on. She's gone. Oh. What the note say? I have what you want. So she has to kill him, or she has to, like, break his heart, or something. Go to hell. Okay. <laughs> Give her the gun. Didn't happen to be like her little sister, did it? <laughs> Dang it. He's not dead. Kill him again. He really sucks at telling her what she needs to know to handle the situation. Convenient. Machete in the kitchen. So they chop up their burgers. Tonight we can send Jason Voorhees straight to hell for all time. You don't need me for that. Yes. I do. Magic dagger. <gasps> Jesus! Oh my god! Jessica. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! Oh god! Leave the baby alone! Oh god, 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 god! Oh god. What the f <laughs> Are you kidding me? What this is alien now? Like No, it's a demon Benjamin Button. I don't know. Could we find the fing dagger already? Arctic expedition? Or do we have another like thing situation happening? Julia Carpenter was the name. John Carpenter's wife? Maybe. This is a little Easter egg. This is an homage to the thing. Oh god. It's giving birth because she's a Voorhees. Duke, that thing's in the basement with Jessica's mother. Holy mother of God. Son of a bitch. You remember me? Oh, he will just rip you in two. Grab it! God! No! Why is he being so gentle? Why is he playing with him like a cat and a mouse, right? Like, why? Everyone else he just crushes, but this guy is just batting around like a little it's the mouse. finale. I love Roman candles. <laughs> Wrong guy. Wrong guy. <laughs> Get some, Steve. Where's the baby, you guys? Okay, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. So, Freddy versus Jason. Jason's reborn into a dog. Is that what happens? There's already a Jason the dog. <laughs> Well. Alright. Jason goes to hell. I can't imagine I'm gonna like Freddy vs. Jason at all. Why? Because I'm annoyed with this one. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'm glad he's gone, don't get me wrong. So, there's no other Friday the 13th movie like Jason Goes to Hell. No kidding. Yeah. They, they tried something new, added a whole new mythology to the Jason legend with him being a body hopping demon. yeah very right. much like the things they the thing they made they paid homage to it yeah. in, at the end there the arctic expedition yeah julia carpenter yeah it was very thing like mm -hmm. that little 
demon Benjamin Button. Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> even a Benjamin Button. It was like a mix between Alien and The Thing. The thing. Yeah. So a lot of people, this is the worst Friday the 13th, the Jason movie. I would say it's not not great. Not my favorite. But, uh, Bottom of my list, I think. I think it's worse than what I thought number three was the worst in my book. Yeah. This this is way worse than three. Yeah. yeah. Well. Glad it's over. Now we're ready for Freddy versus Jason. Great. It's going to be just as bizarre and just as annoying, I'm sure. Actually, it's more in line with like one of the first three Nightmare on Elm Street movies and a typical Friday the 13th movie. Okay. So, it's not it's not too weird. All of I think you'll all get, of the Nightmare on Elm Streets are kind of weird. I think you'll be entertained. All right. I think you'll be entertained. I'll take your word for it. We'll watch yeah. it regardless. So, what are your thoughts about this one though before we get on to the next one? Wasn't good. <laughs> I just don't like how they strayed so far from just the the original kind of mythology of it. Killing teenagers at the lake kind of right. thing. Yeah, there's apparently a Voorhees house and a whole Voorhees family tree that we yeah. didn't know about until the ninth movie. Exactly. Yeah. There's also a bunch of Easter eggs for other horror franchises in this. There's an Evil Dead e- Easter egg with the, the book and the dagger. The dagger was actually from Evil Dead too. Oh, okay. So, uh, And then you saw the Thing reference. Of course, the Freddy pulling him under at the end. Yep. They're really Probably trying missed. to tie a whole bunch of yeah, horror are. movies together. There's actually a comic book, Ash versus Freddy versus Jason. Ash from Evil Dead. I would vote for Ash. He's the one with the chainsaw on, our, on his arm, right? Yeah. yeah. That is Jason Goes to Hell. Well, thanks. Yeah. What was your favorite kill? The first, the tent one. The tent one with the... stake the, through her the fence body and then... Through her. Oh my gosh, that was cool. I'm not sure what the theatrical version looks like. I don't think it's that. I bet not. It's probably just a it's step pretty graphic. from the outside through the tent. Blood splatter somewhere. Could right? be. But yeah, that was a pretty good kill. Yeah, that was my favorite. There's some funny ones there at the, the diner when he punches her face in. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And then melts the guy's face in the fry. Yeah, not, so, not so cool. Ew. But definitely some gore in this one. Mm-hmm. At least the unrated version that we watched. Yep. So, all right. Well, what should people comment on? Favorite kill, as always, like we always do. Favorite Jason possession? Yeah, he I was the best guess who was body the he best possessed. Body. Probably Robert there at the end, right? Was that his name, Robert? He took a lot of bullets and yeah, he definitely damage. held up the longest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my favorite was the coroner, Black Jason. Very awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know what you think of Jason Goes to Hell and how it adds to the the whole franchise. Yeah, and get ready for Freddy vs. Jason right around the corner. You have to wait a week for it. It'll be right around the corner. I probably have to watch it tomorrow night. Wait. Anything else? Like, comment, and subscribe, because this is over. We're glad. It almost. Almost over. Almost. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full link commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. That wasn't gonna happen. I knew that was what they were gonna say. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for one last hurrah with Jason Voorhees. Oh, yeah? We're wrapping up the Friday the 13th franchise. We'll come back around to it eventually someday when we do the remake remake say, month. Don't tease me. With the Friday the 13th remake. But right. this is the last of the original franchise. Jason X is what it's called. All 56 of them. Well, this is called Jason X because it's the 10th one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Where, where do we leave off? We just watched Freddy vs. Jason. He's back at Crystal Lake just hanging out. I guess so. Yeah. I guess I remember that. It's at the bottom of Crystal Lake somewhere. Freddy resurrected him for... Yeah, I vaguely remember all of that. Yeah, try to block it all out. Exactly. Forget that you ever watch these movies.
I don't need to waste space in this brain of mine uh, for that. Your memory that? warehouse. Right. Enough room for it. Exactly. All right. Well, what are you expecting in this one? Do you know <laughs> anything no about idea. this one? Not a clue. All right. This was one I went to theaters in. It's got a special place in my heart. This one actually came out before Freddy vs. Jason, but you'll see once we watch it why we're watching it last. So. Okay. All right. Well, let's just jump in. Should we it. jump into it? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, a comment, subscribe. You know the routine. Do it. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Links down below. Check it out. Let's watch Jason next. This looks like hell. I haven't seen this movie in forever. I completely forget how it starts. Starts in hell. Or a brain? Nobody's stupid enough to be doing experiments on Jason, are they? Do these people never learn? Everything looks so gross. Crystal Lake Research Facility. <laughs> okay. Subject, Jason Voorhees. Status, awaiting cryogenic suspension. Oh good, we're gonna freeze him. To save him forever. At least he's secure. I don't want him frozen, Rowan. I want him soft. We've already discussed this. Yeah, well, I had to go over your head. Oops. What the hell? Got him. Oh yeah, he does the teleporting thing still, huh? Is this gonna be the one? What? The one he falls in love with? Oh, I think doesn't so. Kill? Still holding out hope for a love story. I'd be in luck. Jason love story. Today might be the day. gonna get cryogenically frozen with Jason. It's a match made in Crystal Lake. I like how they're not even really trying with Jason's makeup in this one or his mask. It's just Kane Hodder in a hockey mask. Yeah. No, oh, no, I mean he's a lot uglier than just Kane Hodder, but <laughs> these aliens or something? How long have they been down there? Two weeks. Bacteria. No toxins. It's clean. Looks like Peter Quill's face mask. Star Lord? <laughs> 11. Manufactured in 2010. Precise historic records are inconsistent. So the redhead's an android? Like C3PO? But better looking? Some kind of 20th century carbon filtration unit? It's a hockey mask. What's a hockey mask? Facial armor. Used in a sport outlawed in 2024. She's for sure like cyborg-y. And hockey gets banned in three years. Well, don't touch anything. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chapter clean off, huh? Cool. Oh. 
Crystal Lake looks a bit dry. I love this part. He loves the part where the grip shakes his chair from behind. <laughs> they left Jason there, right? <laughs> Lunar Estates. <laughs> so what she look like? Scoop. And single. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so lonely. <laughs> they sucked that ball right up in there, didn't they? <laughs> You're not gonna bring him back, are you? No, it's impossible. Oh, he'll come back on his own. Any idea how long she's been down? 4.55 centuries. 450 years. 4.5 centuries. 4.55, 455 years. Okay. Let's hope technology is that cool in 400 years. Or sooner. That'd be great, too. Mm, smart and sexy. Mm -hmm. Professor, take on. Activate Jason's boner radar. <laughs> yeah. Funny. He's a big boy. I bet he's hung like a mammoth. Mm. Okay, you guys, you know what? Just get the hell out of here and come back when you're more focused. Jeez. They're gonna go get their homework done. Bring on the ants. Ants? Great special effects. <laughs> to mama. Ew. Can't imagine he's gonna like that much. The year is 2455. You're aboard Grendel, a class 4 catamaran transport ship. It's over 400 years. Welcome to the future. The other viable is marked Voorhees. That's not Jason Voorhees. <laughs> They killed nearly 200 people and simply disappeared without a trace. The legend lives on. Sir, I think that uh, we need to talk about my midterm. Jason hates sex, you guys. Ooh, yummy. Oh, okay, baby. she was not cutting sideways through it to release it. She was cutting down. Like, it looked like she was cutting into his face. Whatever. It was fused in. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Oh, yeah. yeah Love when you use the clamps on me. What? <laughs> you pass! <laughs> cool. All that for a passing grade. Some people will do anything. He's oozing a bit. Hmm. What do you think? Hmm? Do you like them? Welcome on back. You mean the boobies. <sighs> oh, where nipples fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch your back, lady. This boner radar's tingling. Too much sex. <gasps> I hear sex. <laughs> He's super him. pissed now. <laughs> well, don't hurt her. She's not having sex. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> That's a cool kill. Man. Yeah, there you go. That really does just look like Kane Hodder just <laughs> walking around. <laughs> Not much longer and we'll be at Earth 2. Earth 2? What happened to Earth 1? It got a sequel. So. But unfortunately, some people who were too smart for their own good felt that a creature that couldn't be killed was simply too valuable to just file away. In the end, it always comes down to money. Sure does. 
How do you thank someone who gives you back your life? Blowjob? Jeez. <laughs> I'm just thinking that's Escalating quickly. probably what he's thinking. <laughs> I could never be with a girl whose balls are bigger than mine. <laughs> Is that a compliment? From your friend, the big guy with the hockey mask. You brought him on board? He's in the next lab. We're quite safe. Safe? Our scans reveal him to be very dead. He was very dead before, though. I'm not ready yet. Hurry up. Oh. <laughs> Found him. I want nothing left for this guy by the time we reach Solaris. Roger that. You heard him, grunts. Let's get moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can they stop him? Uh, no. My guess is he gets sucked out of the shuttle at some point. It's trapped in space. Yeah. And he's just Jason floating in space. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Ripley crashes into him. That's how this ends. Jason floating in space. Potential alien meets Jason matchup. The at crossover some point we really want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the f is this? I just saved your ass. Oh, is this like laser tag? <laughs> I think we need to reboot. Ah! <laughs> that does not count as a kill. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, screw this game over. Why don't you miss practical effects? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they were Sims. Oh. Sergeant Bryce. Don't leave those kids alone. What the hell's the matter with you? You, Briggs, find him, bring him up to speed. Pondo, you got a BFG? You're with me. Sven, BFG, big <laughs> gun. <laughs> What? You scream like a girl. Screw you. You wish. I mean, epic dialogue, you know? You wish. What the hell? Cross, get down now! Where'd he go? He did his weird teleporting thing. Ooh. Great sound. Ooh. Drilled him. Good one. Well, there he goes. That's lucky. The last guy you got in a hand to hand to fight with, he knocked his head off. Jason watched that whole thing. He's like, wow, that was pretty cool. He just went around in a circle. Just kill more people that way. Besides, we found Condor. What's his condition? He's screwed. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to happen. I knew that was what they were going to say. Uh, he's screwed. His son's dead. Jesus. You have got to get them out of there. They know what they're doing. I get any cryopods there. Should just like lure him in with like a Harry when Harry met Sally moment. <laughs> Trap him in there. Gecko. Gecko. Ooh, rough sounds there. Her last words were. <laughs> BFG. Any 
chance one of these is a relative of a Voorhees. <laughs> Any chance anyone on the ship is a is a Voorhees? Take your time, Sarge. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, you'd be surprised. Cool. Franks, where are you, damn it? There she is. I don't think she's gonna pull through. Hope this guy isn't standing by any wells. Huh? 300. Oh, <laughs> he is the 300 guy. <laughs> I don't know where I recognize him from. It's gonna take more than a poke in the ribs to put down this old dog. Oh. Yeah. That ought to do it. <laughs> oh, it's a comedy. Solaris, we need military and medical at the gate. We got a big problem here. Real goat f Grendel, what's your problem? Jason Voorhees. Oopsie. They didn't have like a like a to suck tractor beam. Yeah, <laughs> to suck the <laughs> ship in. <laughs> Hell, a tugboat would have worked. <laughs> What's I mean? You didn't have a contingency plan for ship stocking? Well, Jason just killed the whole space station. It's all right. We just overshot it. We'll turn around and go back. Hang on. You're all -a gonna die. Jason? Is that you? <laughs> Can you hear me? It's okay, Jason. Don't be afraid. We're all in this together now. I can fix you. I don't think he's out there. Why don't you just stick your head out and have a peek? He wasn't out there. She working with him? Where's Professor Lowe? He was dead weight anyways, that's okay. Oh, you want your machete back? Shit, it's yours, take it! Guys, it's okay, he just wanted his machete back! Stony, Stony's gonna meet me there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You know how to use that thing? Yep, it's just like riding a bike. Once AM and I will go to the supply hold. We'll meet you at the shuttle bay. See you there. Uh, what's a bike? <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me that there is absolutely no chance for us to better our odds? That I hope. Yeah. Statistical probability of survival just went up to 53%. I think she's malfunctioning. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Compromising position. Okay, I made it through. <laughs> Jesus, that's twisted. Of course, I've seen worse. Really? Give me your vest. Wipe it off on the <laughs> Lucky you weren't alive during the Microsoft conflict. Hell, we were beating each other with our own severed limbs. It's nice. <laughs> Can't wait for that. <laughs> and I am going home. Whoa! <laughs> oh, s***. See ya! <laughs> oh no, kids, no, the fuel lines are still attached! 
Oh, she's gonna blow up. Whoopsie. Now oh, they're all screwed. Hey, Slappy! Got a little something for you. Oh, wow. Gave her an upload. An upload? An upgrade? It didn't go so well. <laughs> She's a Voorhees android. Must be. Yeah. Should get him. I mean, he doesn't really have a face anymore, but something tells me no. He'll like pull himself back together, like a. Uh, yeah. Who's your mom? <laughs> <laughs> We've got trouble. The collision must have compromised the hull. She's bleeding out. No. It's the Reavers. Copy. See you in 45 minutes. Good luck, Randall. Thanks. Let's blow the walkways. Come on. It ain't over. The 400-year-old woman's full of wisdom. <laughs> Who needs a face? Jason doesn't need a face. He'll take over the system. movie feels more and more like a mystery a mystery science theater movie <laughs> right like <laughs> just feels like it should be something that tom serbo and crow are yeah. chatting through oh good the, the ants are gonna put them back together savable totally bop it spin it and pull it. They put boppets on the wall. <laughs> that kind of looked like it. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> like the Terminator. <laughs> Impossible. It's dead. It's Jason X. Terminator Jason. And she's like Sarah Connor. <laughs> Perhaps just blow the hatches. You guys might want to run. Hey. Oh. Yeah, boy. I think we're finally okay. I'd clap if I could. Holy <laughs> We gotta go now! Oh no. Use her head, it could plug the hole. Just launch her head at the hole, right? Come on. Come on. Ooh. She got graded. Yeah. You're the expert on this guy, right? What are you thinking? A diversion. What are you thinking? Thinking how the actress that plays M MK? 
But probably had to stand like this for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> Hit a headlock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My Atlanta. Ay, ay, ay. Crystal Lake. Here goes nothing. Initiate. <laughs> hey, you want a beer? Or do you want to smoke some pot? Or we can have premarital sex. <laughs> we love premarital <laughs> sex. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <gasps> Are we gonna get more sleeping but bag kills? <laughs> Try oh, Jason's finally getting some. <laughs> oh my god. Run, honey. Disconnect. Ah, oh, they're taking him to Earth too. That's not helpful. We're gonna have another one of these stupid ass movies. <laughs> Maybe someday. I'll be back on my feet in no time. As soon as I have some. I'll get right on it. Don't get ahead of yourself, kid. Look at that. Shooting star. <laughs> oh my god. This is like the worst movie. <laughs> Make a wish. She wishes for premarital sex. <laughs> he landed in the lake. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> Do we continue? <laughs> oh golly. Lost his mask though. <laughs> What's the worst movie? Oh my god. What? That is not the worst movie of the series. It might be. Worse than Jason Goes to Hell? It's just like a totally different movie, right? It's like it. I thought you would have liked it because it was sci fi. Yeah. I don't even know what we just watched. <laughs> Jason in Space! <laughs> That's what we watched. <laughs> oh, God. It was just like, this movie sucks and we know it, so we're going to just like play on it mm -hmm. and play on how crappy yeah. it is. And then they make him into a nanotechnology Uber Jason. Loved it. Huh? Yeah. He got, he got both his eyes back. Maybe my third favorite. Third favorite? No, obviously not. Oh, okay. I like this one. Of course you do. Huh. It kind of, uh, I don't know, felt like a mix between like, Xenon girl of the 21st century. <laughs> Jason and I don't and Terminator or something all combined. Like really weird. <laughs> yeah. Watching I haven't watched this in forever. It feels like a like a sci-fi channel movie that's made in like the Yeah, late made for TV movie or something. Right? Mm -hmm. But hey, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. It tries to be fun. It didn't take itself too seriously, so that's great. It didn't take itself seriously at all. Yeah. There's some good kills in this one. He's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite kill? Probably that one. The the drill? Just because you could see. Yeah. <laughs> I liked that. What about the frozen head? The frozen head and that he... Sl yeah, that was pretty cool. And then we get a double sleeping bag kill there at the end. It was amazing. I like how the simulation goes. Like, ow! Ow! <laughs> ow! Inside the sleeping bag. And he smacks him against the tree. Yeah. Just like old times. All right, so we're done with Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Yay. Until we watch the remakes sometime in the future. Yeah. So which one's your favorite? I did it, you guys. I did it. I watched them all. Um, 
favorite. Jason number two. Friday the 13th part two? Yeah. Oh, Jason part one. That's the one he's the killer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, all right. Number one is probably the best just because it's so... But of the movies where Jason is in the it. character, number so, two like is like when it was favorite. still like a serious, scary movie? Yeah. Because then that, they kind of start getting campy after that, For right? sure. All right. Not seven? No. He fights... Oh, Carrie. Psychic girl. Oh, yeah, I, I did like seven a lot, too. You put that in, like, your, as your third favorite last Yeah, like two and about. seven are like right up there. I'm... I'm almost excluding one just because it's not Jason. It's, not Jason, it's yeah. kind of its own little movie. Exactly. But two and seven are probably my 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 favorites. Yeah. All right. Those are worthy, worthy movies for your yeah. favorite of how many movies have we watched? Ten Jason Way movies. Way too many of them. Six Freddy movies. Eighteen movies because we watched New Nightmare too. So. Eighteen movies. And our franchise run is down. There's actually 20 movies in the whole both franchises, but we'll get to those remakes sometime in the future. Perfect. Save them for later. Well, did you have fun? Not sure fun is the word I would use. I persevered. Yeah. Well, if we were to talk about the whole series, the whole Fran- Fr- Friday franchise, what was your favorite kill of all the movies? A sleeping bag kill. A sleeping bag kill? Mm-hmm. All right. It's just, it's just so shocking yeah, to see. Yeah, just smacks <laughs> it against the tree. Just so shocking. All right, well, what should people comment on? Favorite kill? Favorite kill in Jason X? Yeah, what's your favorite kill in Jason X? And where does this stack up in yeah. your Friday the 13th Where's franchise ranking? rankings? All right. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, like, comment, and subscribe. We finally did it. We made it through all of them. Yeah. Except for the last two, but we made it through all of them, you guys. What an accomplishment. We did it. Super. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.